Greetings, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's pre recorded, coming to you from the International and General Assemblies of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Nos salutations to nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. Este es el programa radio verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. We ask to bow with us as Elder Ruben Patterson of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and now lead us in prayer. God and our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, <clears throat> we come before thee this day, Lord. We thank you for bringing us back together. Oh God, we thank you for this telecast. Oh God, we thank you for blessing Pastor Gina Jennings. Oh God, the main speaker for the day, we ask you to touch him right now. Amen. We ask you to remove every doubts, every fears, Lord, and let your Holy Spirit take full control. Bless this telecast that it will save people all over the world. Thank God. That they will come to the knowledge of the truth of God. Yes. Oh God, we ask you to bless the rest of this service and whatsoever should be done. Yes. Let it be done to thy will and thy honor. We say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 For those joining us again, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, pre-recorded today, coming to you from the International and General Assemblies of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's right here in the United States of America. And I ask <coughs> Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and the general overseer. Uh, today, you're also witnessing the concluding services of our 19th national or international convocation it's our premier event it's being held this year at our headquarters assembly located here in philadelphia uh, it's being recorded on the afternoon for purposes of the archives on the afternoon of november the 25th the year 2007. Uh, accordingly we're going to ask our uh, our youth or our young peoples or our our chorus our international chorus to come forth and render a selection to us entitled god God is my everything. Hey! 
Watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in the city of Philadelphia, here in Pennsylvania, in the United States of America. Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and he's our general overseer. You're also witnessing the concluding services of our 19th Holy International Convocation. Uh, it's our premier event held once each year in the month of November. Uh, today we're broadcasting from our headquarters assembly, and that's located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current list of our radio and television stations, a uh, list of our church locations, that's both within and outside the United States, a uh, list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and also the church's magazine, the fourth edition, and that's available for 10 US dollars. It's called the Truth of God Journal. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. <coughs> we do have DVDs available of our program also. Uh, those are available, I do believe, for 10 US dollars. <coughs> However, when writing in and requesting copies of this program, we do always ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your letter or other correspondence to us. Now, today's or tonight's program number is seven, seven four once again if you desire copies of our broadcast whether in dvd cd or otherwise uh keep in mind today's or tonight's program number is seven seven four now if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area in person by pastor jennings or have questions regarding this program or simply regarding the holy scriptures again you may write to us our address our street address is 2431 frankfurt avenue in philadelphia but we want you to direct your correspondence to our post office box our post office box that will be on screen uh, throughout the program is p.o box 7745 p.o box 7745 and that's philadelphia pennsylvania 19101 once again send your correspondence as questions or concerns to our post office box, P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. You can also email us. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, and we do ask you always to send a short email. A short email. We get a tremendous number of emails, and we can't get through them all if they're tremendously long. So a short email, that will help uh, get us to get a uh, response to your question or concern. Our email address, truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, truthofgod at errols.com. Also, we'd like you to uh, go to our website on the internet. Uh, www.truthofgod.com is our site. Once again, www.truthofgod.com. You can see uh, lots and lots of things about our church on our website. www.truthofgod.com on the internet. Failing that, you can also pick up the phone if you care to and give us a call. Our number is toll free to you. It's one. 888-231-2201. Once again, pick up the phone and give us a call if there's a question or a concern about anything you've heard preached on our telecast or on the radio broadcast. It's 
231-2201, and that's a toll-free call. Once again, we'd like to say a few quick words to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Saludos a todos nuestros. Radio Escuchas de Habla Hispana en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este es el programa radial Verdad de Dios con el Pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 2431 de la Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125, en los Estados Unidos de América. El plan verdadero de Dios para nuestra salvación requiere que usted se arrepienta y sea bautizado en el agua en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de sus pecados y que usted reciba el don del Espíritu Santo, según lo dice la Biblia. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados Ha nacido usted de nuevo, mujeres predicadoras y Jesucristo es Dios Todopoderoso. Una vez más, nuestra dirección es Primera Iglesia de Nuestro de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 2431 Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125, al cuidado del Pastor Gino Jennings en los Estados Unidos de América. Esperamos que nos escriban pronto. That's to our Spanish-speaking listeners. We'd just like to remind you once again, that you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and the General Assemblies of the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You're also witnessing our concluding services of our 19th Holy International Convocation. And for the archive, it's being recorded on the afternoon of November the 25th. That's November the 25th, the year 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Worldwide Truth of God radio program. Now I present unto you the servant of God and general overseer. He's our leader, teacher, and guide, messenger of the almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. <laughs> Good morning, brothers and sisters, friends, and to my many enemies, we are thankful to the one God for blessing us to be present. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for the prophets. We are indebted to him for sending to us his servants, the apostles. Most of all, we thank him for the way of holiness revealed in the scriptures for our learning. To all of you that are here, we can say that the scriptures have said it is good for us to be here. <clears throat> this has been a blessed meeting all the week, as always. We are blessed and thankful to God for bringing us back to witness another conference that we may celebrate what God have done, yeah. not just for the people of God here in America, but for the people of God <coughs> abroad. To all our television viewers that are watching throughout America and our radio listeners that are listening in around the world, we greet all of you. Uh, that are in India, that is in Africa, in the Philippines, throughout the Caribbean, to our viewers that is in Jamaica, we thank God for you as well. Uh, to the thousands that have wrote us from so many places, we thank you for your letters and your emails of love and hate. <laughs> We're glad for all of it because it's all good. Amen. This is the program, as I often say, that God ordained to get your attention. It is not on the air. In fact, it is the only religious program that's not on the air for entertainment. Mm -hmm. We are solely on the air to get your attention that you may be aware of God's arrival. Amen. Amen. Look at your religion, look at your church. Some of you just coming in now, just getting back from church tonight. Mm -hmm. Some of you looking at me now, hopping around with one pants in your leg and the other trying to get in on your way to church this morning. Hmm. But instead of going to church this morning, why don't you just sit back, pull up a chair, and get fed today. That's right. Because I guarantee you will learn more from this program than all the years you've been going to church. Amen. 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 Preachers today, isn't it something how you can turn the radio and television on? And hardly no one's preaching about God. Nobody, man. It's true. Viewer, have you ever thought of that? Mm -hmm. 
Why do you turn your television on and radio on, touching religion? Oh, ain't nobody talking about God no more. No. Don't you know God is not that important today in churches? What have replaced God in the churches? Money. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Money and prosperity have took the place of God in the churches. This is why God is not preached in the churches now. It used to be a time that, you know, you go to the house of God. Well, it used to be called the house of God. Hmm. And you go looking to hear what the scripture says. Yeah. Or as many people says, what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. But now you don't hear the scriptures. All you hear is the wisdom of men or the opinions of men dressed up with scripture. That's right. That's a big difference. That's right. See, somebody can send a pipe bomb to your house, but dress it up in a beautiful package. Mm -hmm. Either way, you'll be just as dead when you open it. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Now, today in religion, yeah. is not centered around God, but centered solely around men's opinion, men's idea, men's philosophy. That's right. And all he did was dressed it up to make it look good. That's right. Mm -hmm. Reading a scripture that has nothing to do with what he's talking about right. to camouflage or to dress up his real hypocritical agenda. Amen. That's right, sir. The truth of God telecast is raw. Amen. It is the most raw, hard-hitting religious program that have ever touched the airways of television. Amen. That's right, sir. Amen. We believe in touching everything. Touching everything. That's right. All the words. Nothing is off limit to us. Amen. Amen. That's right. When the apostles were stoned in prisons and the angels set them free, that's right. They were commanded to go in the temple and tell the people all the words. All the words of this life. Don't overlook nothing. That's right. People don't like it if they protest against it. It doesn't matter. But. Tell them everything. That's right. That's right. It used to be a song they sang, go tell it on the mountain. Yes, sir. They'd rather sing it than hear it, though. Oh, That's yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Our objective, radio listeners and hard head, stubborn, hell-bound television viewers, yes, sir. is to tell you what God wants you to know. That's it. I've been reading so many emails throughout the week and uh, whatnot and reading some more this morning. And yeah. I want to say to you that emailed me, I thank God for you. I am, you, you fill my heart with joy with your hate mail. My Lord. Right. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I've been called once. Somebody wrote me and said a few words. You a sick man. <laughs> Lord. They, they called me everything. But you're watching. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. My God, if something came out that television that got up under you. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Long enough for you to run to that computer and just start That's tapping. Right. Right. You're tapping and looking at the tube. That's You're watching. Right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> something got you. Something got you. That's right. Oh, yeah. Just keep writing Amen. and keep viewing. Amen. Keep watching. Keep listening. Because the more you listen, the more you learn, mm -hmm. the more you're going to be judged by. That's right. That's right. <coughs> Some of you wrote me, as so many have done, and said I'm racist because I speak out against racism. Isn't that backward? Amen. Backwards. They called me the racist because I speak out against racism. Mm -hmm. right. And most of you often say I don't have love. Right. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? This is love. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is love. God is love. Amen. <coughs> This is the love program. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Full of love. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. Full of love. Full of love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, it's loaded with love oh, here. Yes, sir. Oh, Man. Yes, sir. It's the type of love you're not used to. It's called tough love. That's right. That's right. Man. That's the type of program. Man. Man. It is not that spoiled stuff yes. that weakens you. No, oh, no. It is the things of God that will educate you and broaden your understanding right. to develop you to be a man and a woman of God. Amen. To all of my preachers down there in Jamaica and to all our television viewers in Jamaica, I thank you much for your letters uh, questioning us. One thing I'm glad about the program, it makes people just look at church different. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 
Uh, questions now start to come about about their own religious organization. That's Amen. Right. And uh, the UPC wrote me, the PAW wrote me, the, the AUW. I'm hearing from letters from organizations I never knew exist. That's right. The AU, um, almost like the Alcohol Anonymous. <laughs> they are writing the truth of God. Amen. Even the devil know Amen. that this is the truth. That's right. Because many of you that are writing me, the devil is your head. That's right. right. And I see some of you displeased with your father. That's right. But you keep listening. If you keep watching and listening, you will find that many of the questions you had about religion would be answered. That's right. Mm -hmm. Questions that you have had for years touching religion. Oh, yeah. It will be answered. Now, please uh, forgive us if we don't get a chance to get to your letters and answer them over the air. But consider this. We get thousands of letters. And I'm not exaggerating. Right. We get thousands and thousands and thousands of letters mm -hmm. from around the world. We got an email coming in from Egypt. Mm, that's right. Watch the program over the internet. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. You know, so it is constantly, constantly. reaching the people, oh, constantly oh. Reach, reaching the people. I'm glad to announce that the Lord bless us with the local radio station now blasting in Sierra Leone, West Africa. Yeah, <laughs> So, brothers and sisters, the work of God is growing, not just here in America, but around the world. Amen. All right, we're going to uh, answer some letters. We're going to touch as many as we can. And uh, we do hope that we can help you and straighten you out and put you on the right track, that you may be prepared to see your career. You know, I'm thankful that we have a knowledge of who God is. That's right. Yes, sir. Viewers, there is no God but one. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. This is the foundation of holiness. That's right. Amen. Amen. There is no God but one. He have no partners. No. No, no, no. Am I right, I say? Amen. That's right. That's right. We associate none with, him. with the one God. That's right. Excellent, sir. God is not begotten. That's right. Oh, no. Did you hear what I said? That's Amen. right. I say, God, I said, is not begotten. That's right. Somebody say, well, just a minute, just a minute, Jesus Christ was God and he was the only begotten of the Father. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jesus was the only begotten of God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Only begotten. He was the only begotten of God, but God was not begotten. That's, That's right. right. That's right. But Jesus was. Jesus was. He was God. But God wasn't. That's right. That's right. That's right. Get me now. I just want to make your eyes blink a little. <laughs> The flesh and blood that came from the house of David, from the tribe of Judah, from the descendants of Shem, from the womb of the woman Miriam, which is Mary. Mary did not birth God. No, no, no. Mary just simply birthed some clothes so God can work in. That's it. That's all she did. That's right. That's all Mary did. That's right. Mary birthed a uniform. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. That's all Mary did. She birthed a uniform. Amen. Then after she birthed a uniform, God was in that form and took it on. That's right. And this form was called a servant. When he took on that form, the purpose was to leave you a divine example. That's it. Of how to please him, obey him, how to submit to him. That's right. So that's what it meant that God was manifested in the flesh. That don't mean God became flesh. No, no, no. I know the book says the word was made flesh, but the question is, how do you define word? That's right. Words are speech. That's right. So God did not become flesh. Flesh came into being by the spoken power of God's word. That's right. And you Amen. can hear the word talking too. Amen. Right. Under us a child is born. Under us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, mighty the Mighty God. God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace. There should be no end. Go ahead, brother. Words was right. talking. That's right. right. What was it doing? Creating the Messiah. That's mm -hmm. right. So, by the creating power of his word, the messenger, the prophet, the Messiah, the minister, the apostle arrived. That's right. Christ Jesus. That's right. Amen. Someone That's asked right. me, was God an apostle? God never was an apostle. Never. No. No, no. no. An apostle must be sent. That's right. No one can send God. No. An apostle is taught. That's Amen. Right. No one teaches God. That's, That's right. right. An apostle is given authority. That's, That's right. God has authority. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. So Jesus, the flesh and blood that walk here, mm -hmm. 
known as the Messiah and was the only Messiah. The only, that's right. That's right. Was the express image of the personality of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. Within right. him, God dwelled. That's, that's right. right. And then he took on God's name. That's, that's right. right. You see, God wanted to get the credit for everything that the Messiah would do. Yeah. So the Messiah came in the name of the one that sent him. That's right. That's right. So Jesus inherited his name, his name. from the Father. That's, that's right. right. Being made so much not, better. Not that it was two now. No, no. No, no. no not that it was two gods. Oh, no, no. No. It was one God and he made flesh and blood and then the flesh and blood took on God's name That's for right. the purpose of identification. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful, sir. Right. Hmm? That's Wonderful. right. Did you get what I tell you? That's right. right. I said he made a body of flesh and blood and then the flesh and blood took on God's name and it took on God's title. That's, That's right. right. It took on the title of God and took on the name of Jesus and took on a title, Lord. That's, That's it. Right. Let you know that God is above everything and right. to be saved, you have to come to him. That's right. Amen. Are you getting me? Go ahead. Amen. All right, we'll get back to that and put you back on the right track. But you that got three gods, you got Amen. two too many. Two many. Amen. Amen. Too many. You just got two too many. That's two right. Many. I advise you to go back and tell the two you got to go and <laughs> bow to this one. That's, That's it. Right. Our God is not on no cross hanging in your church either. Oh, no. no, it's not. Am I right? Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. He ain't on no cross hanging around your little skinny neck. <laughs> Mm -mm, that's, that's not God. That's He's not, not a painting in your church. No. Or a painting in your house. No, no. And them little colored pictures in your Bible, God is not in one of them. That's, that's right. right. Yes. God is a spirit. Uh, God is what? God is a spirit. Did you hear that? In John 4 and verse 24. God is a spirit. A spirit is eternal, everlasting. That's God. That's eternal, right. everlasting, perpetual. That's right. Have no beginning of days, have no end of life. He has no relatives. No relatives. None whatsoever. That's right. So viewers, we just want you to see the importance of what holiness is because if you got the knowledge of God right, then you got your opportunity to have your religion right. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, because somebody's questioning me in here about God and they want, they want, they're wondering why I won't preach a particular thing that they say pertain to God. Mm -hmm. We'll straighten that out and find out does it pertain to God. Amen. All right, Dan the man, let's, let's get busy. This letter comes from Sierra Leone in West Africa. Mm -hmm. This person says, I was touched by your preaching through BBN radio. Telecast, the radio broadcast just got started in Sierra Leone. Good. That's right. They haven't even been on, I don't think, two months yet. That's right. Amen. Listen Amen. good. I was touched by your preaching through BBN radio in my country. Yeah. Please, please, I would like to be part of you. I have bigger ideas but less opportunity. I mm -hmm. want to be a great woman of God. Please, please, she says, I need your help. Thank you and God bless you. All right, Sir Leon, West Africa, we're thankful for that wonderful letter. And yes, to be a woman of God, one must repent of their sins. You got, be God to sorrow for all the wrong they done. Amen. Then you must be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus to get your sins washed away. Amen. Then you must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, which is the evidence that God is in you. Mm -hmm. And never, get me Africa, woman, never mm -hmm. go in the pulpit. Never, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Right. See, I have to tell Sierra Leone, West Africa that because, let me tell you something, they are covered with women preachers, Amen. like termites infest the tree. My Lord. They're everywhere. everywhere. All right, come on, Dan. Uh, this person says, Dear Pastor Jennings, keep up the good work on gays. Pastor, I, I do that. That's right. Yes, I, with the help of God, I do that. All right, come on. So, Pastor, I was surfing TV the other day, and a preacher said, and here she quotes, Abel and Cain were twins, but not by the same father. Eve went with Adam and with a father angel, this person says, that produced one through baby. I know you, I know you dissect God's word. Is this true? No. No. Amen. Amen. No. No, no it's not. Angels not coming down here and making babies. No, no, no they're We're not. We're making them. That's right. Am I right, men? Yeah. Amen. Talk back to me. Yeah. Amen. Angels, that sounds so good. <laughs> Angels are not coming down and making babies. No, no, no. Let's find out where these two brothers come from. In Genesis chapter 4, we'll begin at verse 1. Then I straighten out the other angelic lie. Yes. From the 6th chapter of Genesis. That's right. Come on, son. Genesis chapter 4, we'll begin at verse 1. Come on. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. Yes. And she conceived and bare Cain. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again... Bear his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Now, where does angel come from? The angel. 
No, it wasn't no angel visiting Eve. No, it wasn't. Eve was occupied with Adam. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Will you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Right. Now, the question that they ask has very much significance to it because a universal lie has been told on the angels universal. in heaven. Right, right. In the sixth chapter of the, of the book, book of, Genesis. of Genesis. And begin in verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass when <clears throat> men began, when men. When men, that's the subject. When men. This is the subject. It came to pass. This is the subject of, you see, this is the subject of, of the sentence here. That's right. That's right. Flesh, flesh. Do you get what I'm telling you? Right. I, I want to establish what is. That's right. right. Listen good. And it came to pass when and men. It came to pass when men. Began to multiply began on the face of the earth. To multiply on the face of the earth. And daughters were born unto them. Daughters was born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. The sons of God saw the daughters of men. Of now men. the subject was first the multiplying of the men. That's right. right. Huh? That's right. right. Got to have some men being born so they can be able to get them women that was out there. That's right. The angels was in two places. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. right. The angels of God was in heaven. Amen. The backsliding angels were in chains of darkness. Chains, that's right. Let's go back to Genesis, then I get to the prison afterwards. That's right. Come on, son. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, mm -hmm. and daughters were born unto them. What is it? That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Yeah. And they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. Now, this is what your preacher have taught. Mm -hmm. That these angels supposed to have gotten these women pregnant right. were the falling angels. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what it's taught now. That's right. That's right. That the angels that was placed out of heaven, they came down to the earth right. and started laying with women. Right. No, they no. The, them fellas, uh, them angels, they locked up. Locked That's up. Right. No That's one right. put parole. No. no. They're not. They're not built out either. No, no. Listen at this That's now. Right. Jude chapter one and at verse six. They want to refute all this false teaching. Listen, Amen. the truth of God is designed of God to correct that which have deviated. That's right. Did, did you get what I said? That's now, right. It is designed to correct all teaching that have deviated. That's right. Now listen, let me tell you where the falling angels are. Jude right. chapter 1 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. And the angels which kept not their first estate. The first estate of these angels were holy. That's right. They didn't keep that. But left their own habitation. They left their own habitation. He hath reserved God an he, everlasting chain. He, God, is one. That's right. He hath reserved those fallen angels in everlasting chains. Under darkness. Under darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. They're not free yet. No. They're all in bondage until judgment time. That's right. So you preachers that been saying that the fallen angels that came and laid with women and got the women pregnant so they can have children. Wrong. Wrong. That's right. God was the sons of men. That's right. That was doing it then. Mm -hmm. It's the sons of men. Amen. Are still doing it now. And it came to pass. It came to pass. When men began to when multiply. When men began to multiply. On the face of the earth. Well, you look at the scripture where it said the sons of God. Right. Sons of God. That's right. The reason why men is called sons of God because it was made in God's shape, God's form, and God's image. That's it. In fact, the very first one that was called the son of God was Adam. Adam, that's right. You better right. give me the book of Luke real quick, Luke son. Luke chapter 3 Amen. and at verse 38. Listen at this, television viewers. Luke 3 and verse 38. Come on. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of God. You hear that? That's right. The right. reason why Adam was called the son of God because he was the first man that bare God form, God's shape, God image. Mm -hmm. It was made in the image of him that was, was to come. That's right. All right, I hope I straighten you out. All right, come on, Dan. This letter says uh, it comes from Hartsville, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greetings, Pastor Jennings, in the name of Jesus Christ. I can never thank God enough for the Truth of God telecast here in South Carolina. Out of all the years, I have never seen God deal with a minister in the way that he deals with you. Your ability to explain the scriptures is astounding. Sir, I am a member of the church of, in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Church. Yet read the church name right. <laughs> sir, read the church name right. Read it right. Amen. This person says, Sir, I am a member of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. of the Apostolic Faith. My former bishop is the late Bishop L. Hunter of Darlington, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. He said that when he passed away, our church would not be fit to store hay in. Mm. Sir, He's absolutely right. Our church is in chaos. 
Men who are hungry for power, and worst of all, we're not being fed anything. The only food is from your telecast. Our present pastor now says he's a bishop. My question is, how does one become a bishop? We are anxiously waiting your response. Amen. Amen. First chapter of the book of Titus. First chapter of the book of Titus. Amen. And at verse 1. All right, Hartsville. Amen. It's your time. That's right. That's right. Amen. Church in. 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 The Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Of. Amen. The apostolic faith. How does one become a bishop? Titus chapter 1. First, let me educate you. Not just Darlington, Hartsville, but the world. Amen. The purpose of the scriptures is to govern the church. That's right. That's it. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. That's right. Yes, the sir. purpose of the scriptures is to eliminate opinion. That's right. Eliminate ideology. Amen. Eliminate philosophy. Amen. Eliminate doing things on your own feelings. That's right. That's the purpose of scripture. That's right. It is written, whatsoever things are written before time and written for our what, church? Learning, sir. Learning, sir. For our what? Learning. Follow what I said. Learning. Now, if you read how a thing is done in the scriptures, mm -hmm. and if you have the same Wonderful. Holy Ghost, Wonderful. One God, the, one God. the same Spirit yes, of the Most High, Amen. if we are the church that started on the day of Pentecost and have the same Spirit in us that was in the prophets, in Jesus, and in his apostles. We yeah. having the same spirit. If we got the same spirit, then our belief right. is the same. That's That's right. Right. Talk back to me. Amen. That's right. That's right. Our belief is the same. That's That's right. Right. Our way of doing things is the same. That's right. All ways of coming into That's the ministry same is the same as the book. That's right. That's, right. That's true. Yes. Anybody? Amen. Come into the ministry. Amen. Anyway, that's not in the book. Amen. You are a thief. That's right. And a robber. And a robber. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Right. Now, let us itemize Amen. how one become a bishop. Titus chapter 1 and at verse 1. Give chapter and verse. Titus chapter 1 will begin in verse 1. Come on, son. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I got it. It smells like someone got something good cooking in the kitchen. That's right, sir. That's right, sir. Paul, a, and a, servant. a servant of God. And an apostle of Jesus Christ. Hold it. Stop right there. That's right. That's funny, sir. That's right. Just get him parked right there. That's right. Paul was an apostle. An apostle. A servant, sir. What is an apostle? Amen. That's right. One that's God. Hallelujah. One that's God called. That's right. God sent. Amen. God taught. Amen. God anointed. Amen. God appointed. Yep. In fact, he's predestinated before he's even conceived. That's right. Amen. That's right. He's predestinated before his mother is born. Amen. He is preordained That's right. That's right. to be an ambassador. That's right. Amen. To carry authority. That's right. From authority. That's right. Amen. He is God taught. Amen. Have a divine ability yes, to right. break down scripture. Right. Go to the Old Testament and you right. don't make the scriptures overlap. Yes, don't make the scripture contradict itself. Yes, Not only that, he hear and have heard right. the voice of the That's Most High. That's right. right. And he have right. seen the Almighty. That's right. Yes, Wonderful. Yeah. Excellent, Pop. If you are an apostle That's right. and have not heard God's voice Amen. and neither did God appear to you, Amen. you are not an apostle. Amen. That's right. That's right. Excellent. Someone say, well, the scripture says no man has seen God at any time. That's true. That's true. That is true. Sir. You better give me John 1 18. Give me John 6 46. John chapter 1 and at verse 18. I want to show you what is true apostolic, if you will, That's chemistry. Right. That's right. I want to get 
in one tube, John 118. That's right. Then I want to get the other tube of John That's 646 right. and be sure we can mix it That's without right. causing an explosion here. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. That's right. Listen good now. John yeah. chapter 1 and verse 18. All right. No man. I know many of you will run to this scripture because I've declared that to be an apostle, you got to see God. I see That's God. right. That's All right, listen. No man. No man. Has seen God. Has seen God. At any time. What? No man has seen God. No man. God. No man. No man. The question is, how do you define man? That's right. What is man that thou art mindful of him? That's right. What kind of man is it talking about? That's right. It says no man has seen God at any time. At any time. But Jacob wrestled with God. That's right. And said, I've seen God face to face and my life is preserved. That's right. But the book says, no man has seen God in any time. The book says, Moses, Abihu, Nadab, right. and his 70 elders and the right. nobles Amen. said, we have seen the Lord sitting on the throne with the liking of a paved sapphire stone under his feet. But the book says, no man has seen God in any time. The scripture says, Micaiah said, I saw the Lord. That's right. That's right. You understand? That's right. I saw, I saw, I saw the, the Lord, Lord. That's That's right. Right. and the host of heaven That's right. That's right. sitting on his right side That's right. Yeah. and on his left That's side. That's right. That's right. But the book says, no man right. had seen God at any time. Solomon said, the Lord appeared unto me. That's right. But Amen. the book says, no man had seen God at any time. David said, the Lord appeared unto me. That's but right. the book says, no man. man had seen God at any time. John said, every eye That's shall right. see who? Him. That's shall right. see who? Him. Him. Who? Him. Him. Right, no Amen. man had seen God. No man anytime. had seen God what? At any time. Any time. At any time? At any time. But Noah and his wife said, We have seen God. That's right. That's right. We shall die. That's right. Amen. But the book says, No man Amen. had seen God at any time. The prophet Isaiah said, During the time that King Uzziah died, That's I, right. the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amon, right. had saw the Lord That's and right. his train filled the temple. That's right. That's right. I saw the Lord and his train, That's right. his garment, That's right. filled the temple. That's right. But the book says, no man has Amen. seen God at any time. You see, when you are an yeah. apostle, that's not God to you. No, it's not. That's right, sir. Neither is it contradiction. That's right. No way. No man has seen, seen God. How do you define to see? Amen. That's right. There's natural vision. Natural vision. Then there's spiritual vision. That's right. Amen. See, you can see naturally. That's right. But you can't see spiritually. That's right. Because see also deals with the mind. That's right. That's right. Why is your vision compared to the mind? That's right. If I close my eyes, I'm in darkness. That's right. I can't make out what's around me. That's right. But if my eyes come open, equivalent to my understanding, that's right. I can make out. That's it. I can identify. That's right. And I can understand. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, sir. No man. No man had seen God. At what? At any time. Now, this was the Apostle John. That's it. Writing under the inspiration of God. That's right. Now, that same God going to come right back and move on John again. In John right. chapter 6 and verse 46. Says what? Not that any man had seen the Father. Not that any man. That's not right. just anybody. That's right. That's right. Not anybody. Not anybody. Not any man. Not anybody. Not just anybody. That's right. That's right. Have seen the Father. That's right. Save, Save he or accept he. Which is of God. Which is of God. He has seen the Father. Right in the Bible. That's right. That's you understand? Right. That's right. If you're of God. Of God. You can see God. That's, That's right. right. Even the Apostle Paul said, last of all. He was seen of me also. He was seen of me also. That's right. As one born out in due time. I know some of you wrote me and said, well, to be an apostle, it's impossible to be an apostle today because to be one, you got to be a witness of his resurrection. You have to be there when he rose. Paul wasn't there. Paul wasn't. That's right. There was a sir. That's right. Paul wasn't there. But I certify you, brother. That's not the That's Apostle right. Paul. In Galatians chapter 1 and verse 11. I certify you, brother. That the yes. gospel, that which, that gospel which is me preached to me is not after man. It's not after man. For I man. neither received it of man. I didn't get it from man. Neither was I taught it. Now hold it. When you're an apostle, you don't get your revelation from man. That's right. And you're not taught it from man. That's right. Neither can anybody lay hands on you and ordain you an apostle. That's right. Your apostleship comes divinely from the most high. That's right. 
Come on, Sam. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it. But how do we get it? But by the revelation. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. But when it right. pleased when God, when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by His grace, to reveal His Son in me. What did He do? That I might preach Him. That's right. Among the heathen. No, He didn't walk with Him in the flesh, but so, but the Son was revealed to Him so well. That, that's right. So perfectly. That's right. He can preach Him as if He hung around with Him in the flesh. That's, that's right. right. Huh? That's right. Amen. All right, let's go back to Titus and start Titus and start stitching now. Back in that's Titus right. chapter one and verse Wonderful. one. Let's in good Hartsville. Paul a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. You got to have an apostle. Amen. Right. Hmm? Amen. Come on. According to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after God. Now if you got the faith of God's elect and God elect is the church. That's amen. right. And if you got the belief of the church. Amen. You will acknowledge the truth. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's right. Anything that contradicts not just what your church is doing but what any church is doing. If it contradicts it you will be against it. That's right. Listen. In amen. hope of eternal life. <coughs> That's what we're hoping for. Amen. Of eternal life which God that cannot lie. What did he do? Promise before the world began. How is he getting his word over? But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. Listen. Preacher. Hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. What is preaching? Preaching, right, preaching is not just quoting no, no, the sayings of some bishop. No, 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 preaching is not just quoting the scriptures. That's right. Jesus said the spirit That's right. of the Lord God upon is upon me. That's right. Hath anointed me Amen. to preach. That's right. You got to be anointed. anointed That's right. That's you right. can scream. Amen. You can throw your arms around yeah. until your tie get caught up and hang you. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. If you're not anointed, that's why, right. why you need an anointing to preach? Because the man is not a preacher. That's right. The anointing, that's the preacher. That's the preacher. That's so right. if without the anointing, that means there's no preacher in you. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Without the anointing, that means there's no preacher in you. Amen. You can have a battery, but if it ain't got no juice, it's no good. That's right. Huh? That's right. You can have the Bible on the pulpit, but without the juice of the Most High. That's it. Glory to God. That's right. Without the anointing of God, that's right. It's no good. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's why the book says it's not you that's speaking. Mm -hmm. But the voice. What you mean? The anointing of my father. That's right. Speaketh in you. That's right. Come on, son. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. And? Which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. All right, son. The Titus, mine own son, after the common faith. <coughs> what is it? Grace, mercy, and peace from, from <coughs> God the Father Amen. and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Yes. For this cause left I the increase. All right, here's the Apostle Paul now. Mm -hmm. Born in Tarsus, That's right, sir. in the city of Cilicia, mm -hmm. set under the feet of God Melia, right. taught according to the perfect manner of the law, yep. working under the authority of King Agrippa at one time, mm -hmm. on his way to persecute the people of God, mm -hmm. a light shining from heaven above the brightness of the sun, mm -hmm. and the book says the eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. That's right. God stopped and robbed him of his strength, mm -hmm. and he asked, Lord, Lord, who art thou? Who art thou, Lord? That's right. That's right. And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecute. It's hard. It's hard for you to fight. That's right. That's right. Hard for you to kick against the prick. That's right. Go down to the street that is called straight. It'll be told you. <laughs> what to do. That's right. So when Brother Saul went down there, there was a disciple named Ananias. Mm -hmm. Who was led by God to lay hands on him that he may receive his sight. And it fell from his eyes as it were scales. Being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Then after that he went straightway preaching Jesus was the Christ. That's right. That's right. Given the authority That's right. from God Almighty. Amen. He was God appointed to be an apostle. That's right. Now here's this apostle. Given instructions Amen. to Titus, right. which is a bishop. That's right. mm -hmm. Titus was a bishop. That's a right. bishop is an elder. elder. That's right. Get me now. For this right. cause left I For this cause left I the increase. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. And do what? And ordain <coughs> elders in every city as I had appointed thee. You see, hear this now. Mm -hmm. To be a bishop, mm -hmm. you got to be appointed by an apostle. Yeah, That's right. 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 If another bishop ordained a bishop, mm -hmm. the bishop that's doing the ordaining, mm -hmm. he got to get his permission. That's right. From the like Titus got his from Paul. That's, that's right. right. A bishop can't ordain you unless he got permission that's right. from an apostle. That's, that's right. right. Now, that's right. if you became a bishop mm -hmm. and wasn't ordained by an apostle, that's right. or wasn't ordained by a bishop who got his permission from an apostle, that's right. If a group of brothers. Yes. 
If a group of brothers got together and voted you to be a bishop, or if a group of brothers elect you into the bishopric, or if a group of brothers lay hands on you into the bishopric, or if a group of brothers hired somebody else to do the actual ordaining, then you are taking your way and putting it above the ways of God. That's right. That's right, sir. If you come any other way, any other way, sir. What are you, church? What are you? That means you stole the position. That's right. That's right. And stole the title. That's right. And if you walk around as a thief, stealing the title of a bishop, you will be arrested by an apostle. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. My God, we're going to cuff you with scriptures. That's right. That's all right, Bob. That's right. Excellent, sir. Listen. For this I'm cause not. left I thee in Crete. For this yeah. cause left I thee in Crete. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. Now the bishop is supposed to set things in order. Oh, that's right. But notice who's laying groundwork to this bishop. Yeah. For this cause oh. left I thee I, in Crete. I left you. The ah. Apostle Paul telling you, God didn't leave you there. That's right. I left Paul you. said, I left you there. That's, that's right. right. Yeah? That's right. All oh, the Spirit is, is moving me. I hate Bishop. Spirit gonna move you right here. For this right. cause left I the increase. For uh, the Spirit of God, as you claim, is moving you so much, right. and yet you're moving away from the Scriptures right. and not moving towards the Scriptures. Amen. You're moving right to hell. That's right. Hell. Amen. That's right. What did he say here? For this cause left For this I the increase. I left you in Crete, Titus. That's right. For what reason? That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. Now, anytime you got the congregation or a group of brothers setting the bishop in order. That's, right. That's backwards. That's backwards. Amen. The bishop's supposed That's to set the church in order. That's, That's right. right. Are you listening? That's Amen. right. Come on, son. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. And do what? And ordain elders in every city. How did Titus get that authority? As I had appointed thee. I had appointed thee. The apostle That's right. appoints the bishop. That's right. The apostle, apostle. lay rules to the bishop. That's, That's right. The apostle, That's right. lay instructions to the bishop. Amen. You bishops can't go around trying to ordain one another no, unless no. you get permission from the apostle. That's, That's right. right. A bishop is an elder. That's right. It's not two different offices. No, no. A bishop is an elder. Ordain right. elders. A bishop, you can't come around and say God called and sent you direct. No, you can't. You get your credentials from the apostle. That's right. An elder, you can't say God sent you direct. That's right. You get your permission from the apostle. That's Right. It's God, the apostle, right. then the church. In the That's, church. Right. That's right. That's right. God, the apostle, right. then the church. That's right. And God, the apostle, right. then the church. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's why I can look at the scripture. Brother Paul went on down to Corinth right. and said, I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. That's right. God, the apostle, then the church. That's the right. church. Amen. Come on, son. I don't mind the office of a bishop here. For this cause left I the increase. I the apostle leave you increase. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. And do what? And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed. Amen. All right, let's out of mind the qualification of this elder, of this bishop that they got to have. If any be blameless. Do you hear that? If That's any right. be blameless. If. 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 That's right. Amen. If you're blameless. If any be blameless. If. Be blameless. if. If. That's a hard if. Yes, it is. Uh, the biggest, the biggest. Can't walk around and ordain some man. He, he is drinking and smoking and gambling and partying. Mm -hmm. And you ordain him because he's your brother. Amen. Oh, no. To keep the church in the family. Oh, That's no. right. Ordain some brother because he's your son, because his father about to die and go to hell. That's, That's right. right. And you want to leave the church in the hands of the son. That's Amen. right. Amen. If. If any be blameless. 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 blameless sir. How many wives he got to have? The husband of one wife. That means if you're married. Amen. That doesn't mean to be a preacher you got to be married. No. No, I don't mean that at all. Sorry, no. But if you are married, one wife. I want to say to you folks that are watching me now, mm -hmm. that's leaning more over to this divorce trash. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Many of you preachers now that used to denounce divorce, now you condone it. Amen. Anytime you condone divorce, mm -hmm. 
You're not an elder. No, not an elder. You're not a bishop. That's right. You're the yes. deceiver and a liar. That's right. Did you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. Because anytime you condone divorce, listen, you're giving man leverage to have more than one wife. Are you listening to me? That's right. You're giving them leverage, I said. That's right. Come on, son. If any be blameless, be blameless. the husband of one wife, the husband of one wife, having faithful children. Not accused of riot or unruly. That means all the children under your roof. That's right. You got to have them disciplined. Right. If they own their own, you're not responsible. That's right. But as long as you want the mountain roof, you got to go. You got to obey everything that I tell you. Faithful That's children. Everything that's going in the bishop's house. That's right. Huh? That's, that's right. In the bishop's house, the daughter's not wearing pants. The daughter's not wearing shorts. Amen. The daughter's not out there half naked. The son's not out there spending night over women's house to stand out all night. That's Come again right. when he get ready. Man. That's right. No makeup in the bishop's house. That's right. No earrings in the bishop's house. Right. His wife is not the right. first lady. That's right. His children don't get no special privileges. That's right. Am I right, I said. Having faithful children. That's right, sir. Go ahead, sir. Make it Amen. Make it Amen. Having what? Faithful children. Faithful. Not accused of riot or unruly. Amen. Children not the loudest thing in the neighborhood. That's right. Uh, Hanging all out the window, yelling like a bunch of wild animals. That's Amen. Right. Unruly. Faithful children. Unruly children. That's right. Sir. Children got to be faithful. Faithful children. That's right, sir. That's right, sir. Not running around living like wild animals, and you still live under the bishop's roof. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now let me tell the bishop Amen. what the book says about being incompetent and taking care of your own house. Right. Give me the book of Timothy, quick, son. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And again, I say glory to God. The third chapter. Third, third chapter of the book of First Timothy. Come on, son. And at verse four. All right. One that ruleth well his own house. One that wrote. You better. Yeah, we gotta go up to verse one. At verse one. Real quick. This is a true saying. This is a true saying. If a man oh, yeah. desire the office. If a man of a bishop, desire the office of a bishop, he, he desire a good, work. a good work. A bishop then must be blamed. He gotta be blamed. The husband of one wife. Husband of one wife. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Sober. Of good behavior. Uh, he gotta have good behavior. Given the hospitality. Show hospitality. Have to teach. Know how to hold up. Oh. To That's teach. right. Able to do it. Act to teach. I don't want to jump right. ahead of myself. That's right. Let's keep going. Keep going. Then we'll come back to that. Amen. Come on. Act not given to wives. Not given to wives. No strike. No strike. Not greedy right. or filthy. Can't love money. But patient. Patient. Not abroad. Not abroad. Not covetous. Not covetous. Not covetous. One that ruleth well. There it is. Amen. One that rule well. His own house. How in the world you can't control your children? Amen. If you can't control the children under your roof, Bishop, no. get out the pulpit. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. That's right. All bishops. Bishops, all elders, all preachers. Amen. That's right. You can't control your children. That's right. Get out the pulpit. That's right. Your children is under your roof. That's right, sir. Go ahead. Amen. Your sons don't tell you when they are coming in. That's right. Go ahead. Your daughters don't tell you when they are coming in. That's right. Not really. And you supposed to be a bishop. Amen. You rule your house. One that rules well. One that rules how? Well. How? Well. How? Well. Well, any type of way. Well, sloppy. Well, anything goes. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, what did the book say? One that ruleth well his own house. That's the ruler, sir. His own. And if he can't take his own house, what's, what's the result? Not, for if a man know not how mm. to rule his own house, That's right. how shall he take care Without of the, the church of God? Without the Bible. Right. If you can't take care of your own house, That's preacher, right. how That's shall right. he take care of the church of God? Get out the pulpit. Get out. Get out the That's pulpit. right. Huh? That's, That's right. right. Come on, son. Go back to the book of Titus. Back in Titus chapter Excellent. 1, now we're at verse 6. Somebody say, why don't you get the other letters? Don't worry, they're coming. That's right. Oh, God, I got to take my time with this. That's right. Huh? Amen. 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 I got to take my time with this. That's right. This is, this is like the old boxing. That's right, sir. Huh? That's right, sir. You know, today they had 12 rounders. That's right. And in the 70s, they had 15 rounders. That's right. But back with Jack Johnson, That's right. 15, 16, 70 rounders. Amen. This is for the long haul. That's yes, right. I want you fellas to get this who's about to be ordained some little elder Amen. or bishop in your church organization. Amen. That's right. I want to soak you a little. Come on. Back in Titus chapter 1 and verse 6. Amen. If any be blameless. I was in Alabama and there was a brother that came and told me that uh, there was a brother now who used to be with us and of course he's somewhere trying to be some preacher and he said well Pastor Jennings that brother told us now that he got revelation that you can be a preacher without an apostle. Oh, my Lord. That revelation come from hell. That's right. Oh no. Come from hell. That's right. 
The only ones, listen, there's only two offices that God promised to send direct. That's right. That's right. They better give me the book of scripture, Luke. I believe 1149. Luke 11 and verse 49. There's only two offices that God vowed That's right. he will send direct. That's right. Listen. Luke chapter 11 and verse 49. Come on, son. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Anything else is foolish, there ain't no wisdom in that. Amen. Therefore saith the wisdom of God. I. God talking. I. God talking. I. God talking. I. I. Will send them. Will send them. Them. Prophets, prophets and apostles and apostles and some of them some of them they shall slay and persecute I, I, I will send them that's right God say leave those kind in my hands that's right I will send them. because I know what it takes to make them that's right and then I give them the wisdom to teach every other office that's right all right go back to the book of Titus son. back in Titus chapter 1 and verse 7 all right Hartfield you asked for it I hope you get plenty of it for a bishop must be blameless must be blameless as the steward of God as the steward of God not self will all right Bishop all right Mr. Elder that's right the can't be hard here. That's right. They can't be self will. Right. If self-will. you are rebuke or chastised for anything, you got to take it. That's right. Not get up in a pulpit and try to get scripture to throw off at the apostle. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Self will. Not self will. Amen. When you're self will, you're hard head. Right. Rebellious. That's right. No one can tell you nothing. That's right. You're not fit. Not to be ordained when you're self will. Not self will. What else? Not soon angry. All right, you can't be quick tempered. Amen. That's right. If the word of God hits you and tell you, you, you almost start as one old bishop said, foaming at the mouth. That's, That's right. right. Take it. Not take your name. Submit yourself to chastisement. Amen. Right. We're all our partakers. That's right. Not what? Not not soon angry. You can't get angry quick. That don't mean you can't get angry at all. No. The scriptures That's right. allow you to get angry. That's right. It says, be ye angry That's and sin not. not. That's right. So it says here, not soon angry. That means you gotta be slow. Getting up there. Getting to that mm-hmm. a, s- slow temper. That's right. That's right. Can't be hot headed. So quick to fly off at the handle. That's right. Because the man of God chastised and rebuked you. See, this is why many of you little bishops and little storeroom elders <laughs> don't want no apostle. That's right. Because without an apostle, you think you can run around and do what you want to do. That's right. Huh? That's because right. Because the apostle can set you down. That's, That's right. right. You understand? That's right. But as long as God have an apostle in the earth. Amen. Amen. Even if you're not in that quote-unquote organization, that's right. he's still over you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey? That's right. Oh yes. That's right. If the book says Person it's man. one church, that's that's right. if the book says it's one body, that's right. If the book says right. first, first in the church, first in the organization, first in the church, no, first in the organization, first in the church, no, first in the organization, first in the church. Yes, sir. Wonderful, sir. Excellent. First in Hunter's organization. First in the church. First in Lawson's organization. First in the church. First in Johnson's organization. First in the church. I don't care about Hallelujah. nobody organization. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. One body, sir. Amen. Jesus said, Hallelujah. Upon this rock. This rock. I will be. Amen. I will be. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I will be. Amen. Hallelujah. My church. And the gates of hell. So right. if the church yeah. belong to him, right. hallelujah. God has set yeah. first in the church in church. his church. church. That's right. Apostles. Amen. Apostles. That's right. Amen. God. You can walk around with unbelief all you want. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. What the Lord does. God has set some in the He does forever. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Can be added to it. That's right. No anything. Can be taken away from it. That's right. Excellent, sir. Beautiful. That's right. I God, I want to stir you up real good. Back in Titus chapter one and verse. This is God's order. For a bishop must be blameless. You gotta be blameless. As the steward of God. As the steward of God. Not self will. You can't be self will. You can't be hard head. Not soon angry. You can't get angry quick. Can't be quick tempered. No, sir. That's right. What else? Not given to wine. Not given to wine, you old alcoholic out there. That's right. That's right. Many of you bishops, you drink. Amen. Drink. You stay in the bottle. Stay, stay in the bottle. Stay Amen. You don't stay in the way. You stay in the bottle. That's right. Come on, son. Amen. Not given to wine. Not given to wine. No striker. No striker. Two ways to strike. With your hands and with your mouth. That's right. Huh? Amen. That's right. When the word of God hits you, you can't go try to get a scripture to fight another scripture. Oh, That's no. right. Striking. No you striker. can't be quick tempered, always ready to throw up your hands at somebody. That's Amen. right. No striker. No striker. No striker. Right. No striker. After you folk in Hartsville and any other place in the world, right. hear this telecast yes. itemizing the offers of the office of a bishop. That's and right. if you get in your pulpit one time, That's Amen. Right. Just one time. And 
open your mouth against anything that's, right. Right. that's coming out of the truth of God from the word of God, right. you're striking. Strike right. And the moment you strike, you have manifest, you're not qualified. That's right. Man. You're not fit. Amen. Amen. No striker. No striker. No striker. Amen. Come on, son. Not giving the filthy. You can't love money. That's right. You can't love money. That's right. So if you can't love money, you should not be getting paid. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pop. That's it. Give me 1 Corinthians 9, 18. Amen. Corinthians chapter 9 and at verse 18. You preach us. Amen. Should not be getting paid. That's right. That's for right. the gospel. For the Amen. gospel. Listen to 1 Corinthians. Chapter 9 right. and verse 18. 1 Corinthians 9, 18. What is my reward What then? is my reward then? Right. Verily that when I preach Verily the gospel. Verily that when I preach the gospel. I right. may make the gospel I may of Christ. make the gospel of Christ. Without charge. With what? Without charge. Without charge. Charge. Without free. charge. Without charge. Free. That's right. Free. 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 That's, That's right. right. Free. Peter said, let me freely free. speak unto you. That's right. right. No charge here. That's now, without charge. this is where you're handicapped, preachers. Right. Where you're being paid. That's, That's right. right. Certain things you can't touch. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Am I right, folks? That's right. Where you're being paid, certain things you can't That's touch. That's right. right. Certain folks in the church that have clout. That's right. Sir. Right. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Right. Have some form of authority. That's right. right. Can't touch them. That dictate the zeros on your check. That's Amen. right. You will sure favor them. That's right. Sure Even if they're wrong, you will favor them. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Even if they're wrong, you won't say nothing. That's right. right. Because you will love that Wonderful. money. That's right. Wonderful, sir. But when you're free, That's Amen. right. Free. 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 Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's right. We're free, I said. That's right. Free, sir. Not tied down to That's a right. dollar. That's Amen. right. Nobody That's right. dictate what you preach. Nobody. No money no, sir. Dictate, it. dictate what you preach. That's right. No board of directors That's right. dictate what you preach. That's right. God That's right. dictate what you preach. That's right. Amen. Excellent, sir. You love money. Amen. You ain't fit. Fit, you are getting paid. Amen. You're not a preacher. Not a preacher. Sir. Not fit. That's uh, right. Amen. Not giving the filthy lucre. Not can't love money. That's okay. right. Wonderful. Not sir. Can't love money. That's right. Amen. Given to it. Go ahead. Everything you do in the church got to be legal. That's right. Sir. That's right. That's right. By God's law. Everything I say. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Take God has done in the church That's got right. to be legal. Legal, That's sir. It. Yes, sir. That's right. Everything. 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 Gotta be legal. That's Everything. right. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. Amen. Can't violate principle. Can't violate magistrate. No, no. no. It has to be legal. It has to be legal. Come on. Not giving the filthy lucre. Not giving the filthy lucre. But a lover of hospitality. You're in love, Pastor Jennings. Uh -huh. That's well, right. certainly, sir. Lover of good men, sir. That's right. Lover of good men. Lover of good men, sir. A level of hospitality, you know how to treat men. Oh, yeah. That's right. Sir. You'll be hospitable. That's right. What else? A lover of good men. You're in love, Pastor Jennings. That's, <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's certainly so. I'm a good man. Good That's man. right. Tony said, I don't think so. I really don't care what you think. I'm That's a good right. man anyway. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Anytime we're telling you the truth, that's something good. That's something good. good. good is that word, sir. That's right. That's right, sir. I love good men. A love that's of right, good sir. men. I ain't talking about men that's in love with men. No, 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 no way, sir. No, no, not here. We don't roll like that, do we, no. man? No, 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 no way. No, 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 sir. Oh, no. A lover of good men. Good men. That's right. That's right, sir. What else? A lover of good men. What else? Sober. <coughs> stable minded. Mm -hmm. That's right, sir. Level headed. When you're stable minded, you're level headed. You're not carried away with every false teaching that come around. That's right. That's right. Amen. Sober. Stable minded. Amen. Amen. You won't let no group of friends that you call brother in <laughs> all of a sudden change you. That's, That's right. right. Amen. You used to stand on speaking in tongues, now you ain't got to speak. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So used to believe in baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, now you don't have to be baptized. Amen. Used to be against divorce, now you're bound to it. That's right. That's right. Sober. You're not sober. Amen. Used to fight women preachers, now you ordain your children and your wife. I'm not sober, sir. 
Not sober. Not sober. Amen. What else? Just. Give me an honest man. Just. Honest man. Sir. Honest. Give me someone that's honest. That's honest it. about himself. That's right. Honest about everything, including about his own sins. That's right. That's right. That's an honest man, sir. Just. God, when he won't try to hide his own sins, that's an honest man. Honest man. That's right. I respect that. If he see he ain't qualified, even after he been ordained, uh -huh. after he been ordained, uh -huh. and yet after he hear this and see he ain't got these qualifications, that's right. mm -hmm. if he honest, he'll say, I'm not a bishop. I'm backing up. Sir. Backing up. That's right, sir. That's I'm right. backing up. That's, that's right. right. Backing up. That's right. I'm stepping out. Right. I'm coming out of it. Right. Why? I, 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 I don't have the goods. That's right. Is that right? That's right. But when you're arrogant and love the title, That's right. you will hear this and just stay there. That's right. Amen. Not honest, sir. You're not honest. That's not right. Not just. This is the qualifications of a bishop. Here it is, right here. Just. Just. Holy. What? Holy. How in the world are you holy if you don't have the Holy Ghost? That's right. Amen. Got to have the Holy Ghost. Got the Holy Ghost. Speaking in other tongues that the Spirit give out of us. That's, That's right. right. That's why the pulpits are deprived That's right. That's right. of an anointing. They are deprived of it. Amen. Because there's no spirit up here. Spirit. The body without the spirit Dead. is what? Dead. Dead. What is that? Dead. That's the holy. Got to be holy. That's right. Come on, son. Temperate. Self control. Amen. Don't practice getting all what you can get. That's right. Suffer the want of some things. That's right. That's right. Because you may get into a predicament, you can't get the things you want, but because you are temperate, you won't sin. That's right. To get what you want. That's right. Temperate. Holding fast the faithful. Holding fast. Here it is. Not changing, it. Not changing it. Holding fast. Not saying, well, this is the way we do it. No, no, no. Not that. That's right. Not saying this is the way we do it over here. Not that. How many churches did the book say is one body? One body. How many? One body. If it's only one church, one body, everybody must walk by the same rule. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on, son. Holding fast the faithful word. You, you, you can't deviate. That's right. You got to hold fast to it. That's, That's right. right. Faithful. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. No, as right. God gave him revelation. As he hath been taught. No, God spoke to him. As he hath been taught. No, he got it from God. As he hath been taught. Who's teaching this bishop here? Who's teaching the bishop? Who's teaching the elder? Apostle. Apostle. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Holding fast the faith. Ain't no, ain't no need for no man to run out of first church and claim God called and send him direct. That's right. No need for that. Oh no. I ain't got you talk to. Any man that used to be in first church that's, right. that's watching me now. That's right. Amen. And you in the pulpit. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know you're not an apostle because God didn't sin because I know I taught you. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Even if you're not teaching what you've been taught. That's right. Amen. You're in the pulpit. That's right. And I didn't put you up there. Right. Yeah. So I said, I thought you said an apostle got to put you up there. That's me. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. That's right. Man. Yeah. That's right. Yes. That's me. That's right. Man. Wonderful. 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 We didn't put you up there. Amen. That's right, sir. Wonderful. You don't have the right. That's right, sir. Anytime any man left the truth and stepped in a pulpit right. and an apostle didn't put you up there, right. every time you step in there, you sin. That's right. Every time somebody invites you to speak Amen. in that church, Amen. you's a sinner. That's right. Right, you nothing but a sinner. sinner. Limeth up some other way. That's right. Why are you listen at this? St. John chapter 10 and verse 1. What is it? But climbeth up some other way. They, how did they get in the pulpit? Some other way. How did they get up there? Climbeth. Right. They climbed up how? Some other way. Now. Now get this. I can either go in the pulpit. This way, yes. or I can either go in the pulpit that way. That's right. But the book says, Climbeth up some other way. What? Some other way. What? That's right.
worry about it. Climb the fuck some way. other way. It's all right. My mind. That's climbing up some other way. Right. Some other way. Right. You ain't got no business coming up here, hoppering from down there. That's, that's right. right. Way made, Why? It's a way already made. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. This way is already made. That's right. 99. Nine of bishops right. in America yeah. and the world Amen. have got the office the wrong way. Amen. That's right. That's right. Crack it all of you. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's, That's true. I'm your man. 99.9. That's right. That's right. Of you bishops right. that are watching me now That's right. became the bishop the wrong way. Right. Some other way. Some other way, sir. Some Listen other way. at what Jesus said. Still in St. John 10 and verse 1, but climb Beautiful. up some other way. Climb up some other way. Some other way. Some other way. What are they? The same. The same. Is a thief. Use a thief. And a robber. And a robber. Uh, and a stranger. And you hold it. Hallelujah. You a stranger. Stranger. That's right. That means you don't belong to God. Oh, that's right. You a stranger. That's a stranger. You got to be a citizen. Got a strange voice. To be in the church. That's right. For the book says we are no longer strangers and foreigners, but citizens. Fellow citizens, when you're a stranger, you got in the pulpit right. without divine authorization. That's right. Amen. Amen. Any of you fellas that was once in First Church, Go ahead, man. I don't care if you're in a pulpit in Alabama, Go ahead. I don't care if you're in a pulpit in Florida, Amen. I don't care if you're in a pulpit in Georgia, Amen. I don't care if you're in a pulpit of Philadelphia, That's right. I don't care if you're in a pulpit of New Jersey. That's right. You're a thief and a robber. And a robber. That's, right. And a robber. That's right. I love you, sir. Amen. Amen. I love you. I'm looking for you, man. What authority? What authority? By what authority? By what Hallelujah. Authority, sir. Amen. That's right. Are you up there? Hallelujah. That's right, sir. By what authority? Hallelujah. You fellas, That's right. you men that I set down in Newport News. Amen. Wonderful. Sir. If you snuck in somebody else's pulpit, by what authority? That's right. That's Some right, other way. That's right. Amen. Some other way. You the thief and a robber and a robber and a robber. And That's right. What authority? For any time an apostle sit you down, Amen. And you get upset. Right. And don't jump in somebody else's pulpit. That's right. You's a thief. thief. Oh, and you're God. functioning illegally. That's right. That's right, sir. That's right, sir. And, and you are go to hell, God knows. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now take your title. Amen. On the book. That's right. Now take your title. That's the title. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. I know some of you now is on the phone. Oh, yeah. Hartsville, Hartsville. That's right. Pastor Jenny is talking about us. Yes, I am. That's right. That's right. Hold right. up. That's right. Yes, I do that. That's right. Oh, yeah. My God, I want it to be made manifest oh, like Janice yeah, and Jabin's was. That's right. But he that is an hireling. He, listen at this. Still in St. John 10, now in verse 12. He that is a hireling. And Amen. not the shepherd. And not the shepherd. Whose the shepherd. own the sheep are not. Yeah. What? Seeth the wolf coming. Mm -hmm. See the danger, sir. I want to warn the people. Yes, sir. That's right. Souls at stake. Because your soul at stake. Come on, go back to the book of Titus. Everybody all right? Back in Amen. Titus, chapter time. 1 and that verse 9. I want to itemize this office of a bishop. Amen. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. If you've been disfellowshipped by an apostle, mm -hmm. you can't no bishop come along and restore you. No, no way. I God the apostle God told him whatsoever bind. you bind on earth right. I'll bind it in heaven that's right, yeah. whatsoever you loose on earth I loose, loose it in heaven that's right. if an apostle bind you no one can set you free that's right. nobody said nobody but that's the right. but the apostle that bind you that's, that's right. right you're bound to that's right you're bound God locks it down that's right that's right that's right, that's right. Oh, yeah. whatsoever thou shalt bind on the earth. I'll be bound in heaven. God say I'll work with you. Whatsoever. God say I'll work with you regardless of what it is. That's right. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Ye shall bind on earth. Thou shalt bind on earth. Shall be bound in heaven. I tie heaven up with it. And whatsoever ye ye. What, whatever you. Ye, hey, hey, apostle. That's right. Hey, apostle. And whatsoever ye. Whatever you. Shall loose on earth. Set free on earth. Shall be loosed in heaven. I free it up in heaven. That's right. Recognize it. That's right. Hmm? No. Yes, sir. Don't tell me nothing. That's Amen. Right. No one got that authority but the apostles. That's, That's right. Apostles. Amen. That's right. Come on, son. Go back to Titus. Back in Titus 1 and verse 9. 
holding fast the faithful yeah, word as he hath been taught. That he what? That he may be able by sound doctrine. You preach, you can divorce, you're not sound. No, 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 no way. Not at all, sir. You're not sound at all. Amen. Huh? That he may be You able. fellowship with all these false prophets, you're not sound. No, no, sir. No, sir. Huh? No, no way. You got all that junk on, you're not sound. That's right. Amen. When a man that's sound, he's not flexible in the word of God. That's right. Amen. He's rooted. Amen. Grounded. Yes, settled. Yes, no false teaching can come move him. That's right. He's anchored in what he stands for. That's right. Man. He's not a sellout. No, sir. That's right. Huh? That's Amen. right. Listen, many of you preachers today, you're a sellout. That's right. That's why many of you fellas go from church to church so you can get a speaker's offering. That's right. That's right. Sell it. Sell out. Sell out. Sell out. First Kings. Kings. You're just like Ahab. First That's Kings right. chapter 21. Ahab sold himself. That's right. That's Listen good. at this. First Kings chapter 21 and verse 25. What is it? But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none like Ahab. Which did sell himself mm. to work wickedness. He sold himself to do what? To work wickedness. You're a sell out. That's right. You men that are watching me now in some church organization about to be ordained, hold it. Hold it. That's right. Don't go there. Don't go. That's right. No, don't go there. That's right. That's right. Pass up your robe. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. My God, you saw in a hurry to put on a big robe That's right. and That's bounce right. around Amen. like a viper. That's, That's right. right. That's quick, sir. Go away. Look at what these men are preaching. Nothing. Nothing. Ain't that all right? Huh? Ain't that all right? Huh? right. What Nothing. goes up huh? yeah. must come down. Huh? Spinning the wheel, huh? making this round. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. That's right. Amen. Change angling, sir. A bunch Amen. of foolishness. That's right, sir. Amen. Look at the qualifications. Come on, go back to Titus. Back in Titus 1, now in verse 10. All right. For there are, uh, at verse 9. <laughs> come on. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. That, what? that he may be able by sound doctrine. What kind of doctrine we believe in pumping? Sound Amen. doctrine. Sound doctrine. Both to exhort. Both to exhort. And to convince the gangsters. Why? For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. Especially. They of the circumcision. Them that claim to be born again. That's, That's right. That's right, sir. What should we do with those mouths? Whose mouths must be stopped. That's, that's why we hit hard. Must and many of you say, I don't have no love. That that's right. don't faze me. Whose mouths right. must be stopped. I set to my stopped. seal that God is true. That's right. Huh? That's Amen. right. Come on, son. Whose mouths must be stopped. Yes. Who subvert whole houses. This is the problem. Who that's subvert right. whole houses. The churches today that claim to be houses of God subvert. is being totally subverted. That's, that's right. right. Teaching that's things. Right. Teaching things. Which they ought not. And what's prompting them to teach these lies? For filthy lucre. Money. 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 That's right. Money. That's right. Money. That's right. Money. That's right. Amen. 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 Money, sir. Amen. So they won't condemn nothing. That's, that's true. As long as you keep that check in front of them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They won't condemn nothing. That's right. As long as they make those in the church to have clout be comfortable and happy. That's right. They won't speak out against nothing. If your wife do something wrong openly, and you can't chastise your wife openly, then leave the other women in the church alone. That's right. Man. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. If your son do something openly, Amen. or your daughters do something openly, and you cannot chastise them openly, Amen. they don't bother nobody else's children. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Am I right, I said? That's Amen. right. Oh, yes. My God, this That's is the recipe right. to a bishop. That's right. No preservatives. No, no it's not. No additives. No additives. Pure premium. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. There are many unruly and vain talks. Especially they. Of the circumcision. Who mouths. Must be stopped. Who subvert. Whole house. Teaching things. Which they ought not. For what reason? For filthy lucre. For one of themselves. Even a prophet of their own. What did they say? Said the creatures are always lying. Evil beasts. Slow bellies. This witness. It's true. How shall we do with them? Wherefore rebuke them sharp. How shall we deal with them? Rebuke them sharp. How shall we deal with them? Rebuke them sharp. No, talk softly and right. timidly. Rebuke them sharp. No, talk softly and timidly and talk nice rebuke them sharply you, right. you shouldn't do that <laughs> that's right do what rebuke them sharply tie into them that's right, that's right. Firmness. for what reason that they may be sound firm. in the faith firm. that's right sound in the firm. faith God when you got a firm general you have a firm yeah. troops that's right that's right oh yeah am I right amen that's right. Yes, sir. This is the qualifications of a bishop, Hartsville, in the world. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Not giving heed to a bunch of fables and, and, right. and the commandments of men. That turn from the truth. And this is what happened to these preachers. They're turning away from the truth That's now. Right. That's right. Yeah. Turn away from it. That's right. What is it? Unto the pure all things are. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving are nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess. That they know God. There's a lot of folk out there profess to be apostolic. They profess that profession, but in works. They deny him. 
being abominable. You become a bishop any other way? Mm -hmm. You're denying God. That's, that's right. right. Remember, you're clamming up. Some other way. Another way. That's so yes, that's the qualifications Hartsville. of a bishop. Hartsville. That's right. That's right. Wonderful job. That's it right there. Excellent. Beautiful job. Not only Hartsville, everybody else. Everybody else. Everybody else. Not just Hartsville, everybody else. That's right. Oh, yeah. Amen. All right, come on, Dan the man. This letter comes from Richmond, Virginia. Yes. First says, uh, question for Pastor Jennings. When are you going to tell your congregation that the true and living God is the Son of Man, the Supreme Being, the Black Man of Asia? I will be watching your show on TV next Saturday night. I hope you will inform your folks, this person says. It comes from Richmond, Virginia. He asked, when are we going to tell them? When are you going to tell the folks? When are you going to tell them? And he said he's going to be watching? He's going to be watching. Are you watching now? <laughs> you are? Amen. All right. I ain't never going to tell them that lie. Never. That's right. Never. 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 That's right. Never. That's, never. That's a lie. Right. I will never tell them that lie. No, that's a lie. You never tell them. Now. Brother David, son of Jesse, son of Jesse. taught us by God's permission, Amen. ye are gods. Amen. Psalm 82 and verse 6. This is what I want to break down and break up. Amen. Amen. Psalm 82 and at verse 6. Listen. I have said. I have said. Ye are gods. Ye are gods. Gods. Come on. And all of you. And all of you. Are children. That's what ye are gods mean. All of you are children, children of the most high. <coughs> of the most high. But ye shall die like men. Which goes to show you you are not equal to the Almighty. That's right. Because God don't die. No, no. Amen. Now I know many of you that's in this religion called five percenters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a maybe that's a mighty low rate religion. Low rate. Low rate. Five percent. Five percent. That's right. I offer you the other 95. Yeah, that's right, sir. Feature. By God's permission. That's right. That's right, sir. Wonderful. I have met many five percenters that go by uh, atmospheric names. That's right. That's right. Energy. Biological Earth. That's right. Wind. Wind. And fire. That's right. That's right. Water. Power. That's right. Running water. Mm -hmm. Faucet water. That's right. Power. Power. <laughs> God is not a man. That's right. As so saith the prophet Balaam. In the book right. of Numbers, chapter 23, and at verse 21. God, I said, Amen. is not a man. Amen. That's right. Listen at this. Numbers chapter 23 at verse 19. God is not a man. Yes, he is. God is not a man. Religion said he is. God is not a man. Yes, we know. So that's why I can't tell the people the lie that you want me to tell them. You want me to know when am I going to tell them that he's some Asiatic black man. No. <laughs> that's right. The black man is not God. No. no. no, no, no. All men have the title gods. Oh, that's right. Because they are made in the image of God. That's, that's right. right. Amen. But being made in the image of God, now you got to adapt the characteristics. That's right. And the behavior of God. That's right. That's right. And made him to be. Listen. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 23. What is it? For God created man. For God created man. To be immortal. To be immortal. And right. made him to and be. And made him to be. An image. A image. Of his oh. own eternity. Of his own eternity. eternity. That's right. Eternal image. Man is the image right. of the everlasting. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. Man is the image of the everlasting. That's right. This is why God was manifested in the flesh. He created an image. The everlasting got in an image. And getting in that image, he left a perfect example how man should live and serve God. To wit that God was in Christ. Listen at this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 19. To wit that God. Where was God located? Was in Christ. God was in there. In Christ. He was right in Christ. Reconciling the world to unto himself. To bring the world unto himself. So no, I would never tell that lie. God is 
not begotten. God have no mother. God have no father. God is father. That's right. That's right. God have no sisters. God have no brothers. God is eternal. That's right. That's right. No race on the earth can lay claim on God. Before the mountains were brought forth. Did you hear what I said? That's, That's right. right. I say no ethnic group no ethnic can lay claim on God. No. No. God won't give no, because if you were able, that would give you some sense of preeminence. That's right. That's right. That would go. Make That's you right. think you're better than someone else. That's right. That's right. Black man. That's right. Black man. God ain't never told you he was black. No, no. White man. Mm -hmm. God never told you he was white. No, That's right. Asian man or Hispanic man. God never told you he was any of those things. That's right. God just simply said, I am God. That's right. That's right. And there's none other. But me. That's right. Then he asks, Is there a God besides me? That's right. Who will you liken That's right. unto me? That's right. Who would you say is like God? That's right. That's right. That's right. God asks, who is like it unto me? That's God right. wants to know, who would you say is like him? That's right. In Isaiah chapter 44, verse 46. Listen at this. Thus saith the Lord hey, Mr. Mr. Black Man that wrote me. Listen at this. That's right. Isaiah 44, <laughs> verse, verse 6. All right. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. That goes for you, white man that didn't write me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. Man, God, I got the black one that wrote me. That's right. And I want to catch the white one that didn't write. That's right. That's right. Then in case you think you're sitting back in your living room saying, yeah, that's right. I'm, 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 I'm the white man and I'm hot enough. No, no, you came from me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, you did. That's right. Yes. That's right. White, yellow, brown, red. You came. That's right. From the black man. That's right. This is not Islam. No, no. This is scripture. That's right. The first man that God made was an African man. That's right. In Genesis chapter 2. Listen at this. Genesis chapter 2 and we're at verse 7. What is it? And the Lord God formed man. The Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground. Uh, someone say, well, the book didn't say he was an African man. I'm going to show you how it says it. I'm going to break it down to itemize it and split the atom. That's right. That's, That's what right. I'm going to do. That's right. That's what I'm going to do. One Listen man. at this. And the Lord God formed man. The Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils and the breathe. breath of life. Notice, he formed man in the dust of the ground. That's, That's right. right. Now hold it. Hold it. Yes. Hold it. That's right. Now, <laughs> we got to find out That's right. where was the ground at. That's right. That's right. That's right. That he took man from. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's yeah. right. We got to find what continent That's right. where was this man came from. That's, That's right. right. And I'm about to find what continent this man from. That's right. And then I can, I, then I can know right. the, the origin of man. That's right. Come on, son. And the Lord God formed man. The Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Then what? And man became a living soul and and the lord god planted a garden all right he planted a garden eastward eastward in eden all right this is where man was and there and he planted a garden eastward in eden in eden come on the garden of eden right. and there and there he put the man whom he had formed he put the man whom he had formed and a river and now listen the man that he formed he put in the garden of eden that's right now we gotta find out how was this garden nurtured. That's right. How was it watered? Amen. Then let's find out the location of the garden. That's right. He put the man in the garden, mm -hmm. and the man was made in the same uh, vicinity of the garden. That's, That's it. Right. Listen at this. Genesis two and verse ten. All right. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. Yeah. And from thence it was parted and became in the four heads. Then what? The name of the first is Pisan. The name of the first river is Pisan. That is it which compasses that, the whole land of Havilah. It passed that same river, yep. compassed the land of Havilah, where there is gold. Where there is gold. And the gold of that land. Is good. There is no good gold coming out of nowhere else too much in the world but Africa. That's right. Listen. There is Bedellium. There's Bedellium. And the Ankh The Ankh Stone. And the name of the second the river. The name of the second river is Gihon. Is Gihon. The same. It is the same river that can pass, that can pass the, whole land the whole land of Ethiopia. Ethiopia. The whole land. The whole land. Run through the land. The first man that God made was an African man. That's yeah. right. Now, my white brother, don't get upset. No, don't, get upset. don't get upset. No, no. Your mama is an African woman. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yes, That's she right. is. That's right. That's right. What if God say Eve is the mother of all living? Oh, That's right. I am not talking black supremacy. No. I am not talking white supremacy. That's right. Amen. I'm talking about the operation of God. That's right. That's right. No patience. Listen, right. I wouldn't have no problems if the first man was white. No. 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 It wouldn't make me no difference. I wouldn't have no problem if the first man's skin was yellow. That's right. It would make me no never mind. That's 
I wouldn't have no problems if the first man's skin was striped. That's right. What is it to me? That's right. It's not about the color. No, not at all, sir. It's about the characteristic that is in that man. Right. You being black don't make you the devil? No. no. You being white don't make you an angel. No, no. When I go in prison, I see black, white, yellow, red, brown. That's Everything right. is in there. For all have sinned. Listen. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. What? For all have sinned. I want this to be good for the highly exalted multicolor bigots out there. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. When I say multicolor, because bigots come in every color under the every sun. Color. That's right. That's right. So I want it to be good for my television viewing bigots. Go ahead, Amen. That's Excellent. upset now. Look at me. Excellent. I want you to get close. That's right. Excellent. So beautiful. You're a bigot. That's right. Zoom the camera in on me. Cameraman, zoom it in on me. Zoom it in. That's right. With my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're a bigot. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with your television. Tell <laughs> That's right. That's right. Excellent, sir. When the white man, the black man, the brown man, the yellow man, the red man wake up to whom God is, Amen. they want to live according to God's law Amen. and not want to live according to the thoughts of a color. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Somebody say, I'm black. What are you telling me? So, what? So, so what? a car is black. That's right. Amen. I'm white. So is a car. That's right. So what? What does that prove? Where is boasting then? In Romans chapter 3 and verse 27. Did you hear that? Where is boasting then? Where is boasting then? It is excluded. They don't mean nothing. You know what? When people hear me speak like this, speak against it, they say I'm a bigot. That's right. You know why? You don't want me to deal with this stuff because you know your bishop won't. That's right. That's true. No, your bishop won't do it. Amen. He's scared to speak this kind of truth when he got black and white brothers in the congregation. That's right. He's scared of offending them. That's right. It doesn't matter to me who we offend. That's right. If you're not a bigot, then what we preach won't bother you. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. Excellent, sir. Beautiful. All you got to do is stop looking at me as a nigga. That's right. That's right. And you will be all right. That's right. That's, right. That's all. That's it. Don't blurt me out. Don't blurt me out. Don't blurt me out. Don't blurt me out. <laughs> Don't blurt me out. That's right. I said all you got to do is stop looking at me as a nigger. That's right. And all the black man got to do is stop looking at you as a cracker. That's right. And all either one of you got to do is look at one another as the creation of God. That's, That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks, man. Go ahead. Now, I know many of you will be offended, turn the television off, pace the floor. <laughs> Come right back, sir. This is the truth of God, sir. That's right. <laughs> if you're not ready to get into the kingdom of God, That's right. I advise you not to even watch this. That's right. That's right. If you're not ready to get right, you don't need to watch this. Uh, you know. That's right. That's this right. program is for those that want to be right of every race in the world. Amen. That's all. Amen. Wonderful. All right. Then Peter opened his mouth. Yes, sir. Listen at this. Acts chapter 10 and at verse 34. Acts chapter 10, 34. Then Peter opened then his mouth. Then Peter opened his mouth. And said of a truth. And said of a truth. I perceive that God. I understand that God. No he don't person. have no respect to person. But in every nation. Who does he get? Every, every nation. nation. You see him pulling them in out of every, every nation, nation, don't he? Every nation. He's pulling them out of Africa. Oh, yeah. Out of Europe. That's right. Sir. Out of India. That's right. From the Philippines. That's right. From China. Amen. From North and South Korea. That's right. From Bangkok. Every nation. God says, out of every nation. He that feareth him. He that feareth him. And worketh righteousness. And do what's right. Is accepted Wonderful, with him. Wonderful. Wonderful. See, many of my viewers that write me, sometimes you write me and say, Pastor Jennings, I'm a white woman. Right. And I'm a white man. No need, Why? No need for that. There's no need to tell me that. Yeah, that's right. You're right. a human being. That's, that's right. right. Amen. Not you don't right. have to let me know you white. Right. Not relevant. Right. Not relevant. Right. As long as I know you alive. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Can help you. God, then I can help you. Amen. That's right. All right, we got the office of the bishop straightened out. Come on, Dan.
This letter comes from Jamaica. All right. This person says, uh, greetings to you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. I'm an 18-year-old uh, young lady, and I'm currently a part of Life Tabernacle United Pentecostal Church. UPC. In, UPC. In, in, Pier, in Clarendon, Jamaica. All right, Jamaica. UPC in Jamaica. Amen. United Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. The divorce church. That's right. Mm. You can divorce and remarry all you want. That's right. Bishop's got three wives. Deacon right. got two. Mm. Don't want to outdo the bishop. That's right. <laughs> Come on. Uh, she's from uh, the United Pentecostal Church in Clarendon, Jamaica. All right, Clarendon, Jamaica. Get this. I have seen you on TV preaching on Sunday morning. Thank God for that. I believe you are a chosen vessel. You are a wonderful preacher. I have a question, though. All right. I have a friend who is a deacon at one of your branch churches here in Clarendon, Jamaica. Yes. And he is saying that there is a difference between being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and being baptized in Jesus' name. Yes. Sir, is there a difference? Yes. Yes. Yes, there is. Yes, it is a difference. Amen. That's right. There's more than one Jesus in the scriptures. That's Amen. right. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. More than one Jesus in the scriptures. That's right. In fact, one of the sons of... <laughs> First in the book of Colossians chapter 4. All right, let's go there. Colossians chapter 4 and at verse 11. In the Old Testament, there was Jacob and Esau, children, I believe, of Rebekah, children of Isaac, grandchildren. Of Abraham, Abraham great-grandchildren yeah. of Terah. The name Esau, in some languages as Arabic, Esau is pronounced Isa. And in Arabic, the name Isa is Jesus. You also have the name Joshua. But in the Hebrew language, there are no J's in the Joshua language, so it's not properly pronounced Joshua. It is Hashua, which also in English is Jesus. In Spanish, he is pronounced Jesus. So when you're baptized simply in Jesus' name, which Jesus do you have? When you invite, now baptism is a deed. And words must be uttered. Must be uttered. In the book of Colossians. Chapter 3 and verse 17. Listen at this, Jamaica. 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 Mm -hmm. Listen, preacher. Hey, preacher. Preacher. Listen at this, man. Colossians chapter 3 and <laughs> verse 17. It got the round, man. <laughs> That's right. We want to give you scriptures, man. That's right. That's Come right. on, man. Gather around the book of scripture. That's right, sir. Let me teach you. Colossians chapter because three, preacher, verse if you ain't got the baptism right, you got to go back. That's right. That's right. Listen at this quick. Colossians three seventeen and whatsoever you do, whatever you do, in word, in word or deed, hold it. Whenever you're about to baptize somebody, words being said. That's right. The deed is the actual baptism that's taking place. That's right. It says whatsoever you do, in word, word or deed, deed, do all. How? All in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do all simply in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No, just simply do it in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Jesus. No, just simply do it in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. All right, Jamaica, let me get your hand and let's go for a walk. Come on. That's right. I want you to go for a walk with me down the road of Acts. Amen. And uh, we're going to see in the book of Acts of the Apostles, yes. every place where baptism was performed, That's right. and we're going to see was it, it was it ever done simply in the name Jesus. That's First right. in Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. All right, get this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. That means be sorry about your sins. That's right. Don't just take off and go run into water and you ain't sorry about no wrong you ever done. Amen. Be sorry about your sins. Repent and be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How much of Jamaica? Every one of you. How much of Jamaica? Every one of you. How much of Jamaica? Every one of you. All right. Look at me now. Look at me. That's right. All Jamaica better get this. Every one of you. Because many of you is baptized wrong. That's right. And many of you is not baptized at all. That's right. That's right. Jamaica. Jamaica. Preacher. Bishop. Right. Prophet, Amen. whatever you call yourself. That's right. Come on, son. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. No, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, this is what the lying preachers of UPC say. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you say or don't. Yes, it does. Mm. Something wrong with that statement. Something's wrong with that. Now, 
If we have the same spirit, same spirit. we will speak what's written. First Corinthians 1 10 says, Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, Jamaica. Now I beseech you, brethren. Yes. By the name, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. That ye all. That ye all do what? Speak the same thing. And what did Peter say on the day of Pentecost in the book of Acts to be baptized? How? And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And what did Paul say? How should we talk? That ye all speak the same thing. And what did Peter say when we baptized? Be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus and Christ. And Paul said, how should we talk? That ye all speak the same thing. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. Oh, That's right. Oh, yeah. Listen at what we're going to travel now in the book of Acts. That's right. Act, re, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And what? For the remission of sin. And? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's keep traveling, son. Acts chapter 8 and now we're at verse 16. Yes. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. For as yet the Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only... They were, Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. You either say Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus. Or Lord Jesus. Never just Jesus' name. That's right. Yeah. Either Jesus Christ or Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Never just simply in Jesus' name. That's right. Or just in the name of Jesus. No, that's not good enough. For as yet, For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. Only what? Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Keep traveling. Acts yeah. chapter 10 and verse 45. All right. But they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. Yes. As many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles also and? was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answer. Peter, can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. What did Peter do? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Someone said, well, it didn't say they the Lord. It didn't give the name of Jesus Christ. I told you what name to function in. In the That's name right. of the Lord. In the name of who? Of the Lord. In the name of who? Of the Lord. And Colossians 3, 17 said, whatsoever you do, in word and deed do all, okay. in the name of the Lord Jesus. And he right. said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And, and the, the Lord, Lord said, said, I am who? Jesus. All right, let's keep traveling. Amen. 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 Give me, give me the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 19. All right, begin at, at verse 1. At verse 1. While Apollos was at Corinth. Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And what was their response? And they said unto Wonderful. him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. What did they ask? And he said unto them, Under what then were ye baptized? Jamaica. Jamaica. That's the question. How were you baptized? That's right. Unto what then? Jamaica. Amen. How were ye you baptized? That's right. America. Go ahead. The whole world. Go ahead. How were you baptized? Unto right. what then were ye baptized? UPC, mm -hmm. you baptized in Jesus' name. Right. PAW, you baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible way, you baptized in Jesus' name. That's right. That's, right. That's, right. That's what they do. Church of God in Christ, you baptized Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You're wrong. You're wrong. Amen. You're wrong. Everything got to repent from the pulpit down. That's right. Glory to God and every bishop, every so-called apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, every That's pastor, regardless of what you call yourself. Amen. If you would not be baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. No, no. Not be baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost all in Jesus' all name. In Jesus name. No, no, no. Uh, That's right. No. No, no, no. Jesus said exact no more than what's upon you. That's right. That's right. Whatever's in the book, Refuge, Church of Christ. That's yeah. right. Refuge. Amen. You better hide in the Acts 2 38. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Hide under there. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. or the words, Lord Jesus. That's and he right. said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? And they said unto John. We got baptism. John baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Yes. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. And who is that? That is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this? When they heard this, they were baptized. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. No, when they heard this, they were baptized in Jesus' name. They were baptized baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When they heard this, they was baptized in Jesus' name. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. You that is in Jamaica, that's in the UPC, that's right. the entire organization. organization. Glory to God here now. The entire organization. That's right. The United Pentecostal, yes, sir. your preachers, followers, right. all of you. Every one of you. Got to go back. That's right. And be baptized. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. If not, mm -hmm. You're still in your sins. That's right. in your sins. Go, to church. go to church now. That's right. That's right. Jump and shout. Go to church. Go to church. Pastor from your pulpit. That's right. Amen. You're not baptized in the name of Jesus. And listen, follower, don't let that liar as a preacher tell you 
Well, it's all the same thing. It's not the same thing. No, it's not. My God, you had a fellow laborer with Paul That's named right. Justice Jesus. Justice Jesus. Right. You had a false prophet a uh, by the name of, who name is Elumis. Right. A Jewish false prophet That's right. That's right. False prophet. called Bar Jesus. Right. Which Jesus do you have? All right, next letter. This person asked briefly, and uh, we don't know where this letter comes from. It says, it's on the Godhead. Do you believe in the Trinity? No. No. <laughs> That's right. Quick reply. Quick no, reply. No, we don't. Sir. Do we believe in the Trinity, brothers? No. Do we believe in the Trinity? No. Do we believe in the Trinity? No. Do we soldiers? No. Do we soldiers? No. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. The reason why we don't, because Jehovah gave a commandment. In, Deuter in Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. Said he. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Trinitarian. The Lord our God. Is our God. Our God. Is how many? Is one Lord. Now, you said there are three separate distinct personalities uh -huh. of the one. Right. Mm. That's what you said. Making God a schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because anyone that have multi personality right. is schizo. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Anyone that have multi personalities is schizo. You know. That's right. That's right. I don't want no schizo God. That's right. That's right, bro. Who don't know what he wants to be? Hear, O Israel. Give me Matthew 28, 19. Matthew 28, 19. Let's itemize it. Spit it to pieces. Amen. Matthew 28, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the, Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. This is where you say the Trinity is. Yeah. But that's a lie. That's a lie. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are three titles. That's right. That's right. God have a lot of titles. That's right. that's right. Many of you preachers say it. God manifests himself he have three manifestations. Oh, no. That's a lie. That's right. That's right. God have a whole lot oh, of manifestations. Oh, That's, right. Yeah. That's right. Father, creator, yes. God, Amen. healer, yes. redeemer. Yes. Son yes, is dealing with a nature that God was in. That God That's, right. That's right. God made a son, Amen. and the son was not God. That's right. That's right. That's right Are you getting me? That's right. That's right. God, For all things. God overshadowed. Let me make this plain. Come here, Sister Kalina. <laughs> Sister Janice. That's Hawaiian for darling, anyway. <laughs> now, let me show you what God done. God, the Spirit, He overshadows a woman. Come here, Malcolm. Within the woman, a child is formed. Within the child, spirit, same spirit that overshadowed the mother, was in the child. That's right. Spirit was in there. God was in there. So you can't say that Mary birthed God because now you're putting age on God. That's right. That's right. The Messiah was 12. God wasn't. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Messiah started his public ministry about the age of what? 30. 30. Not God. That's right. God is eternal and everlasting. So the everlasting life overshadowed a kernel body. That's right. They created a natural man in the body. That's it. And then that child was conceived or created by the same power that made the woman. That's right. Then when the woman brought forth the child, God was in that child. That's right. Come back here, child. <laughs> so now you have God in a child. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now Jesus had to grow. That's right. Is that right? Jesus, I said. Not God. God did not grow. Luke chapter 2. Someone said God didn't grow. Job said he's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. God don't grow. God is everywhere. That's right. Luke chapter 2. But God got in a room. Right. And 
the room had to expand in size. That's right. God was in Christ Jesus. And the flesh took on the name of God. So God had, that flesh had to grow. Listen at this. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. What is it? And Jesus, Jesus increased, increased in wisdom in wisdom and stature. God don't increase in wisdom. No. He's the only wise God. That's right. God don't increase in stature. That's right. He fulfilled heaven and earth. And in favor. And in favor. With God. Oh, this flesh had to grow with favor with God. And man. And man. That's right. So now the Messiah took on the name of God and took on the title God. That's right, sir. All right, listen. That's right. Now, Father, me, Creator. First John, or rather St. John, chapter 1. Begin at verse 1. St. John Let's break this down real quick. St. John chapter 1 and at verse 1. What is it? In the beginning, In the beginning was the Word. Was God. And the Word. Hold it. In the beginning was God. That's right. I wouldn't say, well, I didn't say that. I said, in the beginning was the word. Well, it was words that brought the beginning here. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Wonderful. See, as I said before, when you say words, you have words come under various titles. Mm -hmm. Nouns. Mm -hmm. Verbs. Yes, adjectives. Right. Synonyms. Right. Antonyms. Mm -hmm. Adverbs. Various phrases that's used that come under the heading of what? Words. God is all verb. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Why? He's all action. action. Right. Amen. God is all action. That's right. The Son of God was a noun. Because a noun is a person, place, or thing, and that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So the verb made a noun. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Are you listening? Are you listening? That's right. That's right. The verb made a noun. And then the verb got in the noun that he made. That's right. So then the noun said, well, I do nothing of myself, but as a verb that's in me, he doeth the work. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. Now, the verb, which is God, has a lot of adjectives. That's right, sir. He have a whole lot of adjectives. That's right. It's called rock. Rock. That's right, sir. Stone. The highest. That's right, sir. Mighty. That's right. Almighty. That's right, sir. But he has a name. Someone say, well, God is called the lamb. No, God is not a lamb. No, 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 son. That's right. That's right. That's right. God is the shepherd of the lamb. Of the lamb. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. That's, That's right. John said, Behold the lamb of God. Of God. Of God. God. That's right. The lamb of God. Of God. That's right. Shepherd is one that leads, and that flesh was led by the Spirit of God. That's, That's right. right. Wonderful, sir. Excellent. It isn't two gods. Nope. It was. God manifests himself in many ways. That's right. Excellent. Sir. Many manifestations. That's right. Father. Notice Matthew 20, 19. It says, Father, Father Son, Son, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Father is spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost spirit. is Holy Spirit. That's right. The only thing that points out human is something in the middle. That's right. Something in the middle. That's right. Take your time, bro. Give in the book of Revelation. Take your time, sir. Take your time. Sir. Take your time. Sir. I gotta find out who is this? Is and was. Revelation chapter one and two. Was and is to come. Is to come. That's right. Take your time, right. 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 Follow me, television viewer. That's right. I told you not to go to church. That's right. That's right. Oh, that God, you will get more this time than you had since you done been born. That's, That's right. true. Come on, son. Revelation right. one and verse eight. What is it? I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning. I, hold it. I am Alpha. I am Alpha. Right. Alpha. And Omega. I am Alpha. That's right. Oh, yeah. Alpha. Alpha. 
beginning. The beginning. He is the first. Alpha. Are you listening? Always was, always have been. I am Alpha. And, and Omega. Omega. Mm -hmm. The beginning. Beginning. And the ending. And That's right. the ending. Ending. I am the ending. ending. The ending of what? Of all things. All things. All things. Listen. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Which is holy. Is his present tense. That's right. Which is. That's Father. It's, it's three words you need to know there. Mm -hmm. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Two of those natures are the same. That's right. Father and Holy Ghost. That's spirit. That's right. The nature of Father and the nature of the Spirit. The nature of the Holy Ghost and the nature of the Father right. is spirit. spirit. The Son nature was flesh and blood. That's, That's right. right. Listen. Which is. Which is. And which was. Was. And which is to come. Is, was, and is. Right, right. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's right. Father. Is, Father. was, Father. is. is. Father, is. Son, Father. Holy Ghost. That's right. Is Father. equal Father. Father. That's right. Father equal is. That's right. Let's do the equation. I'll take your time, boss. Father is. equal is. 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 Why? Because he's omnipresent. That's right. That's right. Always was. Always, Always. was. Son temporary. equal Son. Was. 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 Because that flesh was temporary. And because the Son of Man, listen, in the book of Ecclesiasticus 17 and verse 30, because the Son of Man is not, is not immortal. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. You better give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 30. For all things cannot be in men. All things cannot be in men. Because the Son of Man. Because the Son of Man. Is not. Is not. Immortal. Immortal. That's right. Paul said this about the creation of the Messiah. He was not made. After a carnal commandment, commandment, but after the power life. of an endless life. life. The endless life Father. is that which is That's right. Father, Father, Spirit. That's right. When you say Son, Son equal was. Truly, this man was, was, was the, son the Son of God. God. The Son of God. That's right. Take your time. It's wonderful. Now, we got the equation, father equal is, son equal was, but now you got is, was, and is. Back to is again. You're back to is again. That's right. Why are you back to is again? Because is is alpha. That's right. And he said beginning and end. That's right. So if you got is up at the top, the beginning, and you got is at the bottom, that's ending. So he's the same thing in the beginning, he's the same thing at the ending. That's right. Same thing. All right, listen. Same thing. That's it. Father is, Son was. Holy Ghost is the same as Father because the Spirit, that's is. That's right. That's, right. that's not Trinity. No, no, it's not. I don't even find the word in there. No, it's not. You don't even find the word Trinity in there. That's, that's right. right. Not even in the scriptures. God manifestation, creator, healer, redeemer, savior. Seeing it is one God. Seeing, listen at this. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 30. Seeing is three gods. Seeing it is one God. Seeing is Trinity. Seeing it is one God. Seeing is more than one God. Seeing it is one God. The word Trinity is not in the scriptures. No, it's not. Not in the scriptures. Why are you running around preaching it? That's right. How be it there is not in every man that knowledge. You, you, listen, you better read up above that, son. First Corinthians chapter 8 and we're at verse 6. Get this. But to us there is but one God. I tell. That's it. To us there is but one God. The Father. He's the Father. Of whom are all things. Of whom are all things. And we in him. And we in him. That's and right. one Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all by things. By whom are all things. And we by him. We by him. How be it? Wait, what, what, what you mean? We in him and we by him. That's right. We in him and we by him. By him. We in him. That's right. And in the other, we by him. By him. That's right. Let me break that down. Take your time, You got in him. 
That's right. Sir. And you got to buy him. That's right. What do you mean in him? You got to be in his will. That's right. And he got to be in you. That's right. What do you mean by him? The church came into existence through the shedding of blood. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's, right. That's how we buy him. That's right. He came, we came into existence through the shedding of blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. All right. How be it? How be it? There is not an every there is not an every man that knowledge. That knowledge. That's right. That every man don't have that knowledge. That's why you got the Trinitarian junk. Amen. Being preached. That's Amen. right. All right. Next question. Come on, Dan. Uh, this other letter says, uh, "Greetings, Pastor Jennings. Thank you and your congregation for the truth of God telecast. You're more than welcome. I have one sincere question I'd like to ask you. All right. I have some loved ones that are dear to me. I would like to leave them some things that after I depart this life." All right. But I got to wondering why, why wait until I die to give them what I want them to have. Mm -hmm. I would like to give it to them now. Take it under consideration that they can use it now. Am I wrong for making this decision? This Not way? at all. I mean, if you want to leave somebody something when you pass, that's up to you. That's right. You know, if you want to give it to them now, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why some folks who have something laid for somebody else when they pass because they can't afford to give it to them now. Right. If you can afford to give it to them now, and if that's what you want to do, fine. You're not wrong for it. It's written where there is no law, no there is no transgression. And in Genesis right. chapter 23, Listen. and at verse 10, All right. and Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth. Yes. And Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, mm -hmm. even all that went in at the gate of his city, yes. saying, Nay, my Lord, hear me. Nay, my Lord, hear me. The field which I give thee. The field which I give thee. And the cave that therein is. And the cave that's there. I give it thee. I give it to you. In the presence of the sons of my people. Yes. Give it I thee. Now, the cave was really reserved for himself. Right. Yes, sir. You know, so if he died. That's right. But he decided, you know, he, besides being buried in it, he went on and gave it right. to Abraham. So if you desire, if you got something that you wanted to give somebody when you die, and you think enough of them that they can use it, you know, while they're living, go on and give it to them. That's right. But if you got in mind to leave anybody anything, mm -hmm. and they living like the devil, <laughs> you better be sure that what you're leaving them don't make them comfortable in their sins. That's right. That's right. And the way to do that, just evaluate how they're living right now. That's right. Amen. You don't want to add sin to sin. That's right. That's right. And you got a second. If my son had a second wife, I ain't leaving him no money. No, no. No way. No, why? I'm not going to feed his adultery. No, sir. That's right. That's right. Strength this hand. I'm strengthening the hand of an evil doer. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. No, no, I'm not doing that. No way. Huh? No, no. My God, I, I, if you got a man out there <laughs> and you know he want to get his body changed over from William to Wilhelmina. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about my brother now. <laughs> but I know there's a Wilhelmina watching. Somewhere. 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 And, uh, and they can't afford to have surgery so they can go to hell. <laughs> then uh, if you see what the objectives are. Yeah. You won't, don't leave them money to finance their hypocrisy. No, you don't, sir. You understand? That's right. You know, so when you leave someone something, you can't leave them anything that will cause them to sin. That's, That's right. right. Is that right? That's, That's right. right. <laughs> can't leave Wilhelmina nothing. <laughs> can't leave them anything that will cause them to sin. And you got to be careful. Oh, yeah. Because that's one of those sins that will follow on after. Oh, so right. if you got money or whatever it may be that you may have, right, uh, you want to give someone something. An inheritance. Listen at this. In the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 21. What is it? An inheritance. A inheritance. May be gotten hastily may be, at the beginning. An inheritance may be gotten hastily in the beginning. But the end thereof. But the end thereof. Shall not be blessed. Shall not be blessed. See, a lot of time you give someone something quickly. But then, besides it being a help to them, it destroys them. That's right. That's right. Because they use it wrongfully. Right. You know, so if you're able to give whatever you got for whoever the loved ones are in your life, right. if you don't want to wait till you die, you want to give it to them now because you see that they, they can use it now, right. fine. Right. There's no transgression. Where there is no law, there's no transgression. All right, Dan, that's enough of that. Uh, I don't know how much time I have, but I do have some more time. We covered a lot of ground already. Oh, yes. I mean, already. So let's, let's dive. I want to deal with the condition. Uh, of the people and the condition uh, of the churches. You better give me Zephaniah. We want to talk about air pollution. Amen. Air pollution. Mm -hmm. I believe Zephaniah, the third chapter, Zephaniah if I'm correct. Chapter three. 
Zephaniah chapter 3 and we're at verse at verse 1. All right. At verse 4. Her prophets are light. Her, li her prophets are light. A light. prophet is a messenger. Mm -hmm. Now light have more than one meaning. There's light that will guide you in darkness. Then there's light that will lead you into darkness. That's right. And say, what do you mean? I can be lightheaded. Mm -hmm. Unstable. Unstable. Don't have no soundness in me. Because the lightness that is in me, right. I can lead you into error, lead you into false teaching, right. lead you into something that gives you false hope. Lightheaded. Light. Right. That's, right. That's right. Too flexible. No soundness. Everything that jump, everyone that put a ring in front of you, you jump through it like a poodle. That's right. Lightheaded. Light. Right. Mm -hmm. No soundness, no foundation. Everything that sound good, you run after it. That's right. Lightheaded. That's right. Every time someone presents you to something that sound good, you go after it. Lightheaded. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. Her prophets are light. Her prophets are light. And treacherous persons. That's terrible. Treacherous. They have a lightheaded leader. Oh, yeah. No soundness in his teaching. Teaching is very flexible. Teach anything, nothing that will ground you and settle you and make you a real man and a real woman. That's right. He condone what God is against. He's against what God condones. That's right. That's right. Listen. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. And her priests have her preachers have polluted the sanctuary. How did it come about? Her, priests have, her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. And how did it come about? They have done violence to the law. The law violence. have been violated. That's right. Terminated. How did the law, how was the law violated? Now whenever teaching is taking place mm -hmm. in religion, then that teaching is supposed to be centered around God to develop the people who are serving God. Teaching can cause you to turn against God, just like teaching can turn you to God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Let me say this again, viewer, and you that are here. Teaching can turn you against God. Teaching can turn you to God. Both can be done by using scripture. That's right. Both can be done by the usage of scripture. It's called scripture manipulation. That's right. Scripture manipulation. What do you mean? I see Jesus down in Jordan being baptized by his cousin John. Coming straightway up out the water. Heavens open up. The Spirit of God descends as a dove mounting upon him. A voice speaks from heaven declaring, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. I can manipulate that and make three gods. That's right. I look at Jesus, I look at a dove, and I look at a voice and start counting. That's right. Manipulating the scriptures. That's right. The scripture that says money answer for all things. Oh. You know how that been manipulated. Amen. That's why now you have the blessing plans and the prosperity plans being preached all over the world. When I was in Sierra Leone, West Africa, as poor as that place is, at the false church I taught at, even there they was trying to manipulate people. And the people was already poor. You that are watching me now, have you seen the preacher get up and say, the Lord just spoke to me, church. And he said he wanted a second offering. Don't lie and say the Lord told you. If you need another offering, just raise it. That's right. You ain't got to lie on God about it. Thanks. We're gonna, we need another offering. We're going to raise another offering. All right, let's get busy. That's right. You ain't got to lie and say the Lord, you know, like Robert Tilton. Tilton sit behind his big desk. 
And he'll be talking, and then all of a sudden, oh, oh, what did you say, Lord? <laughs> what did you say, Lord? Gotta get a Honda. Gotta buy a He'll, he'll jab that tongue out when he get ready. My Lord. And you suckers. <laughs> That's right. A whole lot of you suckers. A whole lot. Right, old Mr. Tilt. Send him your money. That's right. Why is it that you got to send money to be blessed? Have you ever thought of that sucker? That's right. Huh? That's right. Why is it you got to send money to be blessed? And Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. Boy, you ain't got no money. That's right. That's right. Polluting sanctuary, mm -hmm. inviting unscriptural practice. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Inviting unscriptural practice, mm -hmm. place a germ in the midst of the sanctuary which enhances contamination. That's right. So now a virus sets among the people. The way of false teaching. And it starts spreading. That's right. One to another. That's right. False teaching. Polluting. Sanctuary. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. You better go to the first Timothy two twelve. Mm -hmm. I want to give you an example of pollution being let in. First Timothy chapter two and at verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach. No what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. Now that's the air vent. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's the air vent to keep all contamination out. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's a good filter. That's right. That's right. That's right. Isn't it? That's, that's right. right. That's a good filter. Amen. But what people do, they go try to clog that filter. Mm -hmm. Now remember the filter says, I suffer not a woman to teach. Now, here come air pollution. Air pollution. You all day one of your mothers in the church. Look right in that camera, mother. You are ordained one of the mothers in the church uh -huh. and make her a pastor. That's right. I'm watching you now. <laughs> you make her a pastor. Right. Or, you know, some of you preachers, your wife is your assistant. That's pollution. That's pollution. Or the mothers in the church become a bishop. Right. In one of the churches. See, that's pollution because what you're doing, you are inviting something that God did not intend it. See, I'm Pastor Jennings. Come here, Sister Jennings. This is Sister Jennings. The program is not called Geno Jennings and Darling Ministries. That's right. God didn't call you, did he? No. You're not a preacher, are you? No, you don't feel it in your bosom, do you? <laughs> now, viewer, to show you that your preacher is robbing you, if the ministry is of God, it should take on God's name. That's right. That's right. So why is your ministry is some preacher and his wife ministry? That's right. You're supposed to advertise God. That's right. That's right. My wife is not the first lady. She don't call the shots here. She got to work here like everybody else. She got to follow what we preach like everybody else, or my wife will go to hell like anybody else. Now some of you would say, oh Lord, if I was your wife, I wouldn't take that. You ain't got that to worry about, do you? <laughs> If 
You look at most churches, the preacher wife is the loudest, craziest thing in the house. Right. They want that spotlight, they want that limelight. You that are watching me now, some of you men, you can't make a move unless you talk to the pastor's wife. That's true. Pastor wife says sit down, you sit down, that's air pollution. That's right. Pastor wife chastises you, you are chastised, that's pollution. We, we. Are you listening? Amen. Where you have pollution, have you ever been driving on, you know, on Route 13 or 95, and all of a sudden, a nice summer day, and you ride through some of those country areas, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, man, a smell hit your nose. Woo-wee. I gossip like something that undead more over. You had your windows down, enjoying the nice breeze, and all of a sudden, something just hit you. When you, you could be talking, it's like it go in your mouth, you be <laughs> Just tear you up. That's right. Pollution. A dry wind. Listen. In Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 11. Listen good. A dry wind. A dry wind. Of the high places. Of the high places. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. Toward the daughter, of my, the people, daughter of my people. Not to fan. Not to fan. Nor to cleanse. Nor to cleanse. Even a full wind. Even a full wind. From those places. From those places. Shall come unto me. Shall come unto me. A stinking breeze. <laughs> That's right. This would have fell in the churches of foul or odor in the form of false teaching. That's right, That's right. Brothers that are ministers, mm -hmm. that are watching me anywhere in the world. Amen. Why is your wife, the first lady, in your church? That's right. Peter was married. Yes, he was. You don't read where his wife was the first lady? No. Oh, no. The preacher wife must be a humble woman. That's right. Not looking for limelight and notoriety. She can't be a spotlight lover. That's right. She has to be humble. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet Discipline. Spirit. Firm. That's right. Meek but firm. That's right. It's time for her to hold her ground. She'll hold her ground. Don't let nobody move her. That's right. Not intimidated by nobody. No. Are you listening? Amen. Doing what? Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Not loud and crazy. That's right. Like a baboon. That's right. Amen. Preacher wives have no business getting up in church when she testifies. Let the church say amen. No. Let the church say amen again. Right. Say amen again. No. Meek and quiet. The book says she got to have what? Meek and quiet spirit. Who values that? Which is in the sight of God of great price. Is of great value. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. They are treacherous persons. Her priests Her have priests polluted. Have polluted the sanctuary, the churches, the mosque, the synagogue. That's right. All of you are contaminated. Contaminated. Amen. Churches today have been contaminated so long. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, God is not preached. That's right. Viewer, if you don't believe me, while I'm talking or while you taping, look at any preacher that come on before we do. Look at any preacher that come on after we do. See that they all have one thing in common. Mm -hmm. Prosperity. That's right. That's right. Money have took the place of God. That's right. Hasn't it? Yes. Money have took the place of God. Today you can't even get prayer unless the preacher want money. money. That's right. You can't even go visit the seer preacher unless you got to pay at the door. That's true. Money have took the place of wish up. That's right. And this is what have contaminated and have polluted the people. You know, there's some foul odors that hit you so fast and make you ill. That's right. Now, viewer. The word of God is a safeguard. From pollution. Isn't it? Amen. See, if you dress right, you can work around certain chemicals. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. If you have on the right gear, 
the right protection. You can work around certain chemicals without being, without breaking out with the rash, without itching, without being affected, without your breathing being altered. Why? You got the right protection on. That's right. So if you have the right spiritual protection, the right armor on. Because now what the preachers are engaging in is chemical warfare. Dropping false teaching among the people and watch it spread like smoke and people are breathing it in. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. It's a chemical reaction. You get the woman that knows she ain't supposed to be preaching. All of a sudden she starts hanging around that bomb that's constantly being dropped. It's all right, you can preach. You got a job to do. Don't let the Lord take it from you. Don't let the devil rob you of your blessing. Drum, bomb, just keep dropping. Before you know it, she started inhaling it. Keep inhaling it. Before you know it, she walked around. I was a sinner one day, and the Lord was dealing with me. That's right. After a while, she's junking. You know the way them old mothers do. Ooh. Are you listening? That's right. You have allowed yourself to be influenced because you're not stable. If you have stability, a foundation, Nobody, including your daddy, that's right, or family member, can come to you and persuade you to detour in your belief from God. That's right. Nobody. But because of the sound of the vain jangler, the vain jangling that's given off a good noise. There are some that says, well, you know, I'm going to visit this religion today and, because I want to see how they do. I, I know the truth. I, I, I know the truth. Uh, and, and, the, and the Father is in me. And, and I, I just want to check out the religion and see how it is. God may be in you, but are you in him? Because if the stability is not there, like I had a brother, and undoubtedly he's watching, who I told some years ago, don't bother the black Hebrew Israelites because you're not scripturally inclined. Jesus said, let them alone. If the blind lead the blind, the both fall into the ditch. But he was overzealous. It wasn't following instructions, so the black Hebrew Israelites put questions to him he couldn't answer. And they made him denounce truth until he denounced Jesus' birth by being created by the Almighty and said Jesus was nothing but a bastard. Blaspheme against the Son of Man. He said, Jesus was not conceived by the Holy Ghost. He was nothing more than a bastard. He said, Mary and Joseph fornicated. Contamination. See, he was among a virus and he wasn't dressed right to protect himself. Every religion has some truth without question. But when you walk among that smoke, mm -hmm. you better be protected enough. You know what to digest and what not to digest. That's right. Let us put on the whole armor. Uh-oh. In the book of Romans, chapter This is 13. the type of protective gear mm -hmm. you got to have. It's time to suit up now, folks. Yeah. Church, it's time to suit up now. That's right. Many of you that are watching me now going from church to church, church to church is having fellowship service. Amen. A group of so-called apostolic people just jumping every Saturday night or every Sunday. Come out, we have in church a bunch of pollution. Because if truth is not there, if there is no ventilation, 
you'll find people now start saying amen to lies. That's true. Is that right? That's right. Listen good. First in Romans chapter 13 and verse 12. What is it? The night is far spent. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works cast of darkness. Cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Let us put on the armor of light. And in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13. Now we're going to break down the armor of light. Of light. Listen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. How much of it? The whole armor of God. How much of it? The whole armor of God. All of it. Take unto you the whole armor of God for what reason? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. This is the evil day. This is your protection suit. Amen. I respect truth. If truth, if the Jehovah Witnesses tell me something true, I will respect it. Even if all the rest they got is wrong. If the religion of Judaism tell me something true, like there is one God, and that's what they believe, I got to say amen to it. If the Muslim tell me something true, that there is no God but one, I got to say amen to it. Are you listening? Satan. The image of light and the master of darkness. Are you listening? Satan. The image of light and the master of darkness. What do you mean the image of light? He reflects artificial light. He pretends to be light. His light is artificial because it don't lead you to anything real. That's right. But yet he's the master of darkness. He's subtle and he's cunning. So therefore, you go to church and you say, oh, my preacher's preaching from the Bible because he read a few verses. You know, he, he, he read it. A few verses and whatnot, and you hear your preacher reading. Now we're gonna let the church just read along with me. And three things I was beautiful and stood upon, beautiful both God and man, the unity of brother and the love of neighbor and man and the wife that agree together. There are sorts of men my soul hateth, and I am greatly offended at the life and poor man and proud, a rich man that is a liar and old adultery. That just enough to get you warmed up, you know. Very dramatic. Very dramatic. But in the midst of reading light, his message is what? Darkness. Let's get the Old Testament money answer for all things. Let's, let's see how they utilize this. This usage of the money. Now, we're we going to go to light. And we're going to show you how pollution crept in by using this scripture. We go right to light and show you the pollution that has set in. Because of the way churches have it now, not even God would do anything for you. That's right. Unless you got some money. Is that right? I don't want no God like that, man. I just don't want no God that can't do nothing for me unless I got a buck. I may lose my job. That's right. I may lose my job. That's right. Book of Ecclesiastes. Vera, I want you to give this about this money. About this money. Give me about the 10th chapter. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Begin at verse 18. At verse 18. All right. By much slowfulness. By much slowfulness. The building decayeth. Yes. And through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. Uh -huh. A feast is made for laughter. Yes. And wine maketh merry. Yes. But money. But money. Answereth all things. Hold it. <laughs> Listen at this. But money answereth all things. Preacher, sure hype you up. You don't believe that? Let me hear you say yes. That's right. 
They get people on their feet. God don't want everybody to be poor. That's a lie. You see, the poor you have with you always. If God made everybody rich, who would have a testimony? I've been delivered. That's right. If God will make everybody rich and have everybody up on a mountain, who will have a testimony that God picked me up when I was down? Listen at this scripture. A feast is made for laughter. A feast is made for laughter. And wine make it merry. Wine make you merry, make you happy. That's why the state store that your preacher go to is called, you know, wine and spirits. That's right. Mm -hmm. But money answereth all things. All, all things? All things. You sure? All things. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's break it down. Break it down. Question is, what kind of thing does money answer for? Kind of well, Pastor Jennings, the Bible says answer for all things. All things mean all things. No, it doesn't. Because I'm going to show you in the scripture where money can't buy something. And yet it was offered. That's right. Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8, we'll begin in verse 17. Are you listening? Amen. I want to itemize it. You see what I mean by making the scriptures harmonize? That's right. That's right. That's right. Listen. Acts chapter 8, we'll begin in verse 17. Listen, viewer, keep in mind, the book says, money answer for all things. All things. Now you got to find out what kind of things they're speaking of. That's right. Because there's some things money cannot buy. That's right. Listen at this. Then they laid they their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. What? And they received the Holy Ghost. Yes. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. He offered money. He offered them money. For what reason? Saying, give me also this power. He wanted to buy the Holy Ghost. That's right. In other words, he wanted to purchase God. That's right. That's right. Yet the book said money answered for all things, but listen here. Saying, give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. But Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee. Your money ain't going to work, Simon. That's right. Why? Because thou hast you thought, thought that the gift of that God. That God's gift, the Holy Ghost, may be what? Purchased. Purchased. With money. Purchased. Purchased. Viewer, ask yourself. Why the entire telecast of a church spend 30 minutes or an hour begging you for money? That's right. Don't misunderstand me. Yes, it does take money to run things. But even the church, the scriptures itemize a way for money to be collected. Be collected. In the book of Galatians, or rather in the book of 1 Corinthians. Listen. Chapter 16. What is it? And we'll begin at verse 1. All right. Now concerning, now the, concerning collection, the collection for the saints. For the church. As I have given order. To the churches. There's a certain way for it to be done. That's right. Now, you're a preacher. I'm dealing with pollution. Right. You're a preacher. Here, pollute. I'm down to 10 minutes. We've got 10 minutes of pollution left. All right. You're a preacher. Here, take that scripture, money answer for all things. And here, pollute 10, 15, 20,000 people with it. That's right. He'll tell you, you that want a blessing from the Lord. The Lord just spoke to me. Shalom Asada. <laughs> and the Lord spoke to me and told me to tell you, there's a thousand more. There's, wait, what did you say, Lord? <laughs> Not a thousand, Lord? Ten thousand, Lord? The Lord just told me yes, sir. there's $10,000 more in the house. And the Lord told me that if you just simply give your last, he will give it to you by the weekend 100 fold. My sister-in-law called me and told me a friend of hers took her to a church and the preacher got up and told them that if you want to lose weight, the Lord says, give $500 today. My Lord. And they came up there. And no one lost nothing. My Lord. <laughs> now, what make a person believe these gimmicks? Desperation. Viewers, you're desperate. 
whisper. That's right. That's why you'll believe any lie that these preachers will tell you. That's right. You lose weight from God for five hundred dollars. <laughs> Jenny Craig not even offering that. No. <laughs> preachers will tell you. The more you give, then God will really help you and bless you if you give all of it. Now, wait a minute. How do you define giving all? Somebody say, I gave God all my money. Then that means you ain't got a bank account or checking account or savings account. That's the truth of it. The true definition of giving all is right. giving total self. That's, right. That's the true definition of giving all. That's right. Of giving total self. Now, once that preacher tell you to give it all to God, and he got it, that's why he got his, his, his limousine. That's right. And yacht. And jet. I mean, if he work with his own hands and by his own, that's his business. That's right. I mean, you got people stricken with poverty right in the church. And he won't lift a finger to help them. Amen. But yet the book says money answer for all things, but all what? Viewer, if you got to lie and manipulate and con to get a buck, which is what your preacher is doing. See, your preacher's a con man. Old Western terms, they called him a carpetbagger. Fortune teller. Everything now, lie, lie, centered around a dollar. That's right. They lie for money. It's like you folk that go to the terror, you know, those that flip cards. Who's supposed to be this great divine one. Right. You got to pay to get a vision. That's right. So you come bring your dirty hands and they look at them, flip a few cards, and Sister Troy. That's right. <laughs> Sister Troy will give you a revelation. They say this is your lifeline. Ain't nothing but cracks in your hands. Mm-hmm. Calluses on some. This is your lifeline. God do not divine falsely. That's right. And the prophets therefore divine. Listen, 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 listen. Micah, chapter 3, chapter three and verse, 11. verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward. The heads thereof judge for reward. And the priests thereof teach for hire. The preachers teach for hire. And the prophets thereof divine for money sister don't look at me look at me real good don't you ever let no preacher including your pastor come to you and tell you the Lord told him to tell you mm -hmm. give him your house that's right brother don't you let your preacher come to you and tell you the Lord told him to tell you give him your house amen you want a house, let them go to work and buy it himself. That's right. Someone said, people really do that? Yes. Many apostolic churches are teaching that. And the scripture they are using is that they sold their possessions. Come on, let's get that fast. Because that's something that never was dealt with on television. This something in the second chapter of Acts was never dealt with on television. Acts chapter in two? fact, it hardly ever was dealt with even on radio. That's right. You apostolic folk, get this. Acts chapter 2, when we begin at verse Come on, you got to move quick, son, my time is moving. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Yes. And all that believed were together. Yes. And had all things come. And all things come. And sold their possessions. They sold their possessions. And goods. And goods. And parted them, and parted to, all them to all men. As every man had need. And then what? And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. And breaking bread from house to now house. Now in another place, they sold their possessions and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Yeah. Now, neither, listen at this. Acts chapter 4 and verse 34. Come on, son. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Yes. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. And, and brought the prices of those things that were sold. And laid them down at the apostles' feet. This scripture, many of you bishops have used 
to tell the church members you can't own property. That's right. You's a liar. Amen. You bishops have used this scripture and said because they sold their possessions and laid the money at the apostles' feet, it's a sin for saints to own property. You's a liar. Amen. If you tell me if I own property, I go to hell, then you got to see where is a commandment right. to sell this property. That's right. You don't read where the apostles commanded for it to be done. No. They done it on their own free will. That's right. How are you going to tell me I go to hell for, for if I own property and I own my own house? That's right. That's right. How can I tell you you'll go to hell for driving a Bentley and I got a rose? How can I tell you you'll go to hell for having a luxury car and I collect cars? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. If I go, if you go to hell for something, I go to hell for the same thing. Same thing. That's right. Come on, Ain't no special place for me and something different for you. We all walk by the same what? Same rule. And mine the same what? Same thing. By this scripture, many of you bishops taught is a sin to have a bank account. You taught it's a sin to have a bank account. My Lord. There is no, listen, if it's a sin to have a bank account, why do the church have one? That's right. It is the members, that's the church. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. When they sold their possessions, it wasn't a commandment. They done it willingly. That's right. That's, it wasn't no commandment. They never was taught they'd go to hell if they don't do it. No, no, no. Neither can we teach it. That's right. That's right. We can't If somebody want to give their property or give land to the church, fine. Let them give it to the church if that's what you want to do. If you change your mind and want it back, fine. We'll give it to you back. Amen. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you, Indian giver. <laughs> That's right. I ain't gonna tell you that. No. Nah. No. You give it to the church, you want it back, fine. Mm -hmm. No harm. No love loss. Yeah. No compromise. <laughs> the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. So be careful how these men manipulate scripture. Manipulate scripture. You transform your bishop into be a king. Mm -hmm. Wherein he's nothing more or supposed to be nothing more than a servant. Are you listening? Amen. If you want to do something for the preacher and give him something fine. Be sure you deserve it. Don't give the false prophet nothing. That's right. Give him nothing. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> That's right. Thank God, don't give the false prophet nothing. Give him nothing. Nothing, I said. Amen. The only thing you have to give him is a bunch of trouble from the scriptures. That's right. Just keep knocking his office door. Hey, Bishop, the word of God said this, and you said, just give him trouble. That's right. Arise ye and depart. Come on, son. In the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart. Rise up and get away. For this is not your this is not your rest. Uh -huh. Because it is polluted. It is what? It is polluted. It shall destroy you. I told you. That's right. We can all thank God for the day that God brought us out of pollution. I have brothers that were preachers in other churches, even was pastors, set up their own polluted shop. When they came here, not one did I ever go to and tell them, you got to sit down. They came in sitting. 
I have some women here that were woman preachers. And some was pastoring. Heard the word of God. Gave up the church. Amen. Came out of that pollution. Amen. Put on the right. Now you got to put on the right protective gear. Right gear. So when that gas come back at you. Right. You don't start reacting all over again. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Yeah, oh yeah. Amen. That gas come back at you and hit you. And you like. All of a sudden you. All, you coming down now. Again with the woman preacher virus. That's right. Well now you coming down with the Baptist syndrome. <laughs> you start coming out your testimony. Besides testifying you're trying to preach. That's right. You know what God done for me, Chad? You know God healed me one day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Besides praying, you're trying to preach. Preaching. Down your knees, quoting about 50 scriptures. That's right. What for? Amen. You broke out with the virus that I call fossilitis. Amen. These are the symptoms of fortalizers. Scratchy throat. The changing of the voice. The moving of the hands. The jiggling of the body. And the bobbing of the head. And the kicking of the feet. Fossilitis have them bad. Trying to preach. <laughs> Anybody here ever had fossilitis? Have you ever had it? Raise your hand, let me see. Come on, tell the truth. Raise your hand. Anybody here have fossilitis? You may raise your hands, Chris. <laughs> you may as well raise your hand. Yeah, fossilitis bad. That's my brother, but he had fossilitis bad. You had it, Reed? You had a bad case of it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God, Chris had it so bad he should have been in the intensive care. <laughs> Under one of them plastic tents. Chris had it bad, man. Falsolitis. Getting up there preaching in front of two and three and four thousand people using all these words with about 30 letters in them. All them people jumping up yelling. He looked at them people. He, he like he lost his mind. He went around pulpit yelling. Whoa! lost his mind <laughs> fossilitis you got to grab someone like that and pull a script you force that mouth open dun, dun, dun. get them scriptures down in them get the fossilitis so when they clear up they come back greetings God bless you thank the Lord I thank God now for deliverance and for his saving grace, the Lord work in mysterious ways. <laughs> Fossilitis is simply when you find the old thing that you were delivered from starting to press. Creep right back up in you. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. We thank God for all of you, brothers and sisters. We're going to greatly let you go and go downstairs and get something to eat. Fellowship one with the other. Uh, next weekend or this week.